we're live oh Oh my gosh we're live we're live hey everybody hey Hey, welcome to blackwater dnd where everything is good (laughs) (laughs) that's the saying now well, that's wow. it. Everything that's, is good. Everything, it. everything is good with about six O's. <laughs> Threatening it's, or to it. It's it's lowercase, okay. italicized, right. and, and at least good. six O's. <sighs> everything else is spoken at a speaking volume. Right. And you whisper the good to just put that little bit of sauce on it. Serve it to your friends. You know. So is everything just saucy or is it just good? I don't know if you listen. Uh, did you hear the intro? <laughs> Because I think it's a very back. specific <laughs> adjective that Sorry, I. Sorry, we'll just rewind. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> rewind the tape. Sorry. Thank you, everyone, for re-upping your subs. Oh, speaking well, of, I'm going to re-up my sub. A little hype train. <laughs> oh, hype train. Oh, yeah, new year, new, year. new year, new hype train. <laughs> new year, um, new well, sub. I will take that opportunity to jump right into announcements before we play some sweet, sweet D and D. Um. <laughs> What is happening? Sorry, I'm just really over snow at this point, and that's a genuine <laughs> reaction. Is Yana's putting? Oh my god, I have to oh, race now. Snow. Okay, no. uh, big thank you to our oh, sponsors, boy. Legend Craft, a nerdy woodworking company from Calgary. We are proud to be um, also sponsored by Modern Arcana, makers of fine shirts, prints, and mugs adorned with five E spells. Check them out, and if something tickles your fancy, enter the code Blackwater at checkout for a discount. Love is always to our dice goddess Keisha. I have to cover you. I can't. Because I can't focus. I uh, love as always to our dice goddess Keisha. She makes amazing dice, and our fantastic uh, campaign artist is the incomparable Tiana Kovacevic. You can find her at Mist underscore Marston on Instagram. All of <laughs> our official shirts? art for this campaign shirts? and beyond is done by her. Her commissions are open, so please contact her if you have been uh, wanting to get in there because they are open for a short time. Uh, so oh, get in there while the getting is good. Speaking of art, have you wanted to get more. some of our art on your bod? Um, you can. Uh, I don't know if Yanis is wearing anything, but you can get some. Uh, Blackwater merch type exclamation point merch to get linked to our Redbubble store where you can find a bunch of designs on products like shirts, hoodies, as well as shower curtains, aprons, journals, dad hats, and more. Uh, our Discord is a wonderful, amazing place where we can debrief what is happening this evening. Type exclamation point Discord to find the link and come hang out because, but while we're streaming, hang out here in Twitch chat because, you know, that's where all the cool kids hang out. A big thank you to all of us who, big thank you to all of you who subscribe to us. Uh, don't forget to re up your subscriptions as they don't roll over every month. You also get a free one with Amazon Prime. Um, you get a free Twitch sub. So please, if you decide to pass it our way, that would make us so happy. Thank you. If you'd like to support our show above and beyond a subscription type exclamation point, donate, and we'll send you over to our donation link. We're just really thankful also to have you here showing up week after week, telling your friends about the show and watching as Yanis's bits get more and more complicated. Um, we're really How many grateful can for we possibly you. Have? Um, if you are behind on our amazing Things campaign, uh, you can get caught up Oops. over on YouTube. Head on over there. Uh, and if you don't follow us on YouTube already, uh, duh, go and do that. Type the, Subscribe to us because we don't have that many YouTube subscribers and we should have more. So please go and follow us over there and then come back over here. Um, before I jump into our programming this week, Lennon, what are you <laughs> doing on your channel this week? <laughs> Len, what are you doing? Are they all in is on this the a bit? planned bit? <laughs> is this a triple play? <laughs> what is happening? All the yes and you can't right. let them win. <laughs> you don't improv, Tim. Look it up. Um, Len, yeah, have um, you heard of it, Tim? Uh, I'm I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm doing a, my normal weekend stream where I just stream a bunch of games and have fun and be cozy. And then I stream uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, Sundays. Amazing. Well, go hang out with Len on their channel. Uh, you can, yeah. uh, one of our mods will shout out Len in the channel. Jesus. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Cody will also probably be streaming this week. So you can go hang out with him and Adam may do some streams this week. Um, but bef- now we're going to jump into our programming as the rest of the boys decide to get so ready for the cold. Uh, you better buckle up boys. Cause they're going to have to uh, get ready for our new programming this week <laughs> on Monday. Adam and I are in the hot seat oh. uh, as we paint our damn minis. That's right. The first episode of our new show, uh, No Excuses, the painting show will be live at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday, January 10th. The vibes will be very, very chill, like the weather these boys are all prepping for as we try not to stress about painting. So please come hang out with us for painting. Uh, you can ask questions to us about painting, uh, world building chats, and general all around good cozy time. There will be some sweet lo-fi playing in the background and we will be painting. I'm going to be painting the ship uh, that some of you
you have seen me pay, uh, building on the uh, Christmas and New Year stream. So I will be doing that. So please come hang out with us. And then on Wednesday, holy mackerel. Um, I am really, really excited uh, because we are back with the first official episode of the Brothers Grimm <laughs> Double two. featuring myself as the DM uh, and Adam, uh, Cody, and the amazing Pond uh, who is joining us. Um, if you missed the first episode on, from the Super Street Drive, it is on YouTube for your enjoyment. So go check it out before then. We will be jumping right back in with a little bit of a recap for all of those you who come to watch. So we're so excited to bring you this new mini series dear God. So please coming out with us at 8 PM Pacific standard time on Wednesday. And that's the second Wednesday of every month that we will be streaming the brothers Grimm here on our channel. Also, we will be doing our raffle giveaway tonight from the super stream drive at the break. So we're super stoked about that. We are well underway with getting all of the deliverables to you folks who um, donated to us and are aiming to have those mailed out and on their way. You can't take off your clothes. <laughs> You can't take off your clothes. You better hurry up. <laughs> oh my God. Um, as by the end of January, thank you so much for your patience. I'm really excited to get started on the fanfic and OC writing Carlson. <laughs> as terms of service, Jesus. Um, as long as we don't see your nipples, it's okay. Okay, cool. I'll just I'm very excited then. to get started on my fanfic and OC <laughs> writing. Uh, so far, I am writing a story about Kamea. I'm writing a story about CODIS. I'm writing a story about letters. I'm writing a story about CLAC. And as well as the little light keepers, I'm getting those started. Um, we're contacting people over email and discord. So keep an eye on your inboxes if you are someone who's going to be receiving rewards. So lastly, if you're new with us tonight, welcome to the fucking show. Um, this is this is great. You've Or if you've been with us for ages, thank you so much for your support. Uh, we love you immensely. And uh, thank you for hanging out at our table. We hope you feel really, really welcome here. And now over the break, people are going to take their clothes off and take their clothes on, put their clothes back. No, nah, this is the look. That's it now. <laughs> the look, dude. Cody, roll the fucking clip. Roll the clip. <laughs> you have to take those glasses off <laughs> are you afraid i, to I will stream with the future yes that's campaign two dude i already told you the aesthetic for campaign two yeah, there's a little there's a little sneak peek new year new me new year new me i haven't changed anything about my life except this <laughs> this is the new me it's such Get a big change man no yeah. it's too much son they say dress for the job you want not the job you have i want to be a future troubadour <laughs> oh my god oh, wow. len you look like you had something funny to say thought better of it but i would love to hear it <laughs> oh no you can't touch your mic and then not say the thing i have to get my food actually i'll be right back <laughs> oh, okay all right, all right tim take it away okay, okay. Ready. <clears throat> fashion so <laughs> For those of you just joining us tonight, oh, I stubbed my toe so badly. Last Maybe. week, Blackwater returned to the city of Weirang Dune to retrieve the items that had been taken from them. Assured by Melthor Ironheart that the queen was intent on returning their items herself. Upon their arrival, the party was ushered into the royal meeting room by Melthor, whom they believed to be the god Moradin in disguise. It was in the room they discovered the dead body of the former Empress Heliag Stormstone, having been impaled by Callie's confiscated sword. Melthor was quick to shout for help as the palace guard rushed in as an earthquake shook the room, splitting a third of the stalactite city from the ceiling, causing it to crash into the underport below. As the party plummeted chaos all around them, they attempted to confront Melthor, only to have his hammer take a, meteor a meteorite like appearance and pummel them. Callie attempted to split from the group, but Kale managed to stop her by putting himself in mortal danger. The party just managed to escape, protected by a well-timed force wall from Kale, regrouping at Karenin Estate. 
Finn and took some time alone while they attempted to plan their next move. Nepenthe scried on Magrin, and with a combination of divination, they discovered that she was in fact forging a dawn prism. And that is where we pick up. This isn't a bit, but I, I have, I just got, I ordered food, and I have a, I got my drink. There's a lot of writing on the top, and I can't figure out if it's a threat or if it's, <laughs> I don't know. It being on a drink scares me. It says people will respect you only when you respect yourself. <laughs> Is this handwritten? Is this like? Yeah, it's handwritten with a little smiley face. Did your drink just threaten you? Somebody worried about you, dude? <laughs> Are you a regular at this place you ordered food no. from? Or have you like tipped well or very poorly on the deliver person? Oh, I tip normally. Do you have like anyone who would want to assassinate you? <laughs> Is it sealed? Uh, no, it's not sealed. Yeah, I don't know, dude. The bag's sealed. Like Honestly, bag I drink it and just see where sealed. life takes you, you know? A&W? That's so strange. Somebody hand before... wrote that from A&W? The f- Journey before destination, you know? You know what? I think someone was like, I'm going to do something really nice for somebody. And then they were, had no idea how that it could be perceived. <laughs> That's <laughs> freaky. Like... I don't like that. Okay. Uh... I don't need iced tea that much. We're in the light keeper <laughs> living room, aren't we? We That's are. Smart. We're in the yeah. We're in the the light solarium. Room. I don't. I don't like how. In the recap, Tim said the party believed it was Moradin, and then never called him Moradin after that. It is Nebby very alarming. Nebby called him out. No, I know, but no, no, Tim no, in the Tim recap, in the recap said, said the party believes is Moradin, and then didn't call him Moradin. He's not going to confirm nor deny Anyways. anything. You know that. You know him. Um. So yeah, so Nebi uh, looks up from, she's, her grace uh, believes that she's forging a Don prison. So we have to get her out. Did she mention what a Don prism is? I can only ask one question. Ah, uh, woof. <laughs> I, I had a thought. Um, it will require us resting first, but I'm sure that will be fine for most of us. Um, also, letters, I'll have you make a history check for me. I'd love that. I have big, big brains. Do you have big brains? Nope. 12. You vaguely remember the term Dawn Prism. It's not the first time you've heard it. You're just having a hard time placing where you've heard it before. No, oh, well, Sean could have told you that. <laughs> In the same place. <laughs> um, how much of the queen's body is left? Not much. There is, uh, I would say, some of a skull. Most of it's all burnt. Like the entire body is burnt. <clears throat> um, one of the legs is missing. Some of the arm. It's a pretty rough shape. So, I can attempt to resurrect her. I will need to sleep, but I can attempt to resurrect her. It will bring back all of her body parts. Um, she does not need to be whole to do that. The one thing is, is that her soul must need to be willing and able to come back. I think, I think yes, but we might, if she's a worshiper of Morden, then, you know, her soul may be in his eternal forge or wherever the fuck you go when you die when you're more tonight. Um, yeah, she's eating toast. Sorry. What? Oh. Uh, so, like, I think we have to try, but if that's going to take up a whole lot of diamonds, I think for someone who's going to smash the jaw, uh, Morden tends to be a pretty thorough fella I... sorry Finan. I believe that that was Marden but a lot of what is he's doing doesn't make sense say more on that I don't know much about where people go and who worships what but you were saying that Svelen was a bastion of Moradin's 
worship, correct? Correct, yes. As would be Wirangdun. Correct, yes. The two cities of this world that are the most worshipping of Marden, correct? Correct, yes. Now, I don't want to get into, like, you know, hypothetical theocracy and, and of theocratic discussions, but immediately after losing a large portion of worshippers, why would a god then destroy essentially the rest? I think you might be uh, misreading the god. Uh, your pantheon has always reminded me of the owners back home. The Tao would live virtually forever, and uh, they effectively got their power from how many people they owned. But they didn't really care about them. And if they lost a bunch, that would be bad, but they could always bounce back. Morden, as far as I can tell, is an incredibly proud person, and what he cares about is not how many followers he has, but his relationship with the only other people that matter, the other gods. And he is willing to drop a city on us to stop us from revealing his nasty little secret. Yes, I, I, I think that's very true. That is, I would say, I, I feel like that. That sounds right to me, but I, of course. Without his worshippers, he's weakened, but alive. But if the rest of the gods get a sniff of what he's been up to, he's fucking dead or whatever approximation of dead gods have. There are uh, not potentially... Right. Sorry, Kale, go ahead. Not only but that, but if they feel attacked, if they feel that their religion is attacked, they're more likely to band together to follow the high priest without question. I mean, if he frames it as a an attack on Moradin. An assassination. An assassination, an attempt to, you know, they, they would then rally behind him against people who they would normally call allies. The, God, the gods are like, um, kept up by <clears throat> not just the quantity of belief, but the quality. All you need is one person to believe in a god. Like I said, I, I, I'm I, pretty certain it's Marden. I'm just, there's a part of my brain that is always worried about someone playing sides against each other. Well, we're dealing with levels of power very much beyond me. So I, I think I'm just spiraling a little bit, I think. <clears throat> His eye burned the remnants of the eye that was plucked out by Ludebeck in the Bloodstone clan. I saw it before uh, I'm gonna this hammer at me. I'm going to cast um, Alter Self to look and just be like, I, I get, again, this, is, this isn't getting us anywhere. I'm just... Things have lately been not what they seem so often that it feels like a play like this feels heavy-handed in a way that is almost manipulative, but again, I'm 98% sure that's Marden. It's just that 2% that I'm worried about. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Whether he's Morden or not, he did throw a meteorite at us shaped like a hammer. So, the important question is, what are we going to do tomorrow? I think we're sort of spent in terms of what we can do today. Our options are, head to the Plane of Fire, revivif try to revivify the Queen, try to get Magrin back. In regards to Magrin, I've thought a lot about it in the 10 minutes since I mentioned it earlier today. Um... I think tomorrow we try to contact her. We try to scry on her. If either of those failed, then I think you're right, Finnan. It probably means that uh, uh, <clears throat> so-called 
uh, uh, Forge Father has anti magic the shit out of her, and I think at that point she's just out of our reach. We can't go toe to toe with him. And if that is out of our reach, then I think we have to just stick to our plan, get the Titans together. If we get the Titans on board, then we can get the gods on board, and all of us together, we can tackle them. In regards to how confident you feel that you can bring this queen back, every revivify I've seen, it's like kind of like a personal thing. It's like, hey, come on back. You know me. But we'd be like, to whom it may concern, please return to the living. Well, this is my thought. We get Kamea and the council to meet us in the dead of night, because it's currently in the afternoon, in the middle of the night at Temple Karakel. So we have witnesses to what happens, whatever happens. We have witnesses. So it's not just our word against everyone else's. I'm tired of being said I've done something that I haven't. I don't like that at all. So Kamea will know the queen the most. She could perhaps potentially help us with that. I can ask her grace for some assistance and we do the best we can with that. I will also, if we do get her back, I will cast Zone of Truth with her knowing. And even if it is simply on myself, I will tell the queen everything that I know. And I will ask for her assistance and ask her why she's forging a Dawn Prism. Why Megron is forging a Dawn Prism. Good. I might not know. This is she a good might plan. Not know. Is I there anyone? The... Sorry. Go ahead, Letters. Yeah. Oh, no, I was just saying, I love this plan. If you got anything else to add to it. Well, is there any world leaders that we're worried may be on the fence a little bit? Because I can send them a a picture-perfect recreation of what happened. Um, I don't think it matters at this point. No, I know. It's like little sneaky dream propaganda, you know? You know what? I think let's keep the sneaky dream propaganda in our back pocket. At the end of days, if they're like, hey, who do we want to propagandize? Uh is <clears throat> already calling all of the clerics here. Kame and Kokani are orchestrating that to giving us to having all of the heads of religious organizations meet us here. I also think we should get Kato Halskani to meet us at Karakel tonight as well. Absolutely. Good plan. Kamea, her crew. Well Kato. Wendell, make sure that guy's there. Yes. Kato, get the whole gang. Uh but until then. We fucking crack on, as in go to fucking pick a resty. Oh, that fight took it out of me. We got it. Hands in. Blackwater on three. One, you two, are welcome. Three. Take any Black space you like here. Blackwater. Um, Fuck yeah, dude. I've also, Callie. I've been, I've been stewing on it. Well, all of us, because we all hate this guy. I've been stewing on a, a plot, and I'm gonna do it tonight. I know it's the timing's weird, but you know that guy up in Garyang, real dick guy. Copper pot? Yeah, I'm just gonna fuck with him. I'm Speaking just gonna copper pot? Yeah. Fuck, did I get anywhere close to him? I'm not sure who you're talking. Are you talking about the boss? Or are you Spigot. talking about Yeah, the Wax? boss, the guy. <laughs> Spigot. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the, the book guy. <clears throat> yeah. Spigot, yeah, yeah, cobble yeah. pot. Cobble pot. Yeah, so you did get close. You got pretty close, yeah. Keep your I'm gonna fuck close. with him. I'm gonna send him nightmares and he won't sleep well. As long as I have the spell slot right before I go to sleep, I'm gonna fuck with him. Anything oh, in particular we want to send him? Yeah, a series of like the same day and he keeps waking up from me like, oh, that was a fucked up dream. But the dream continues in, oh, fuck, we don't know what his bedroom looks like. <laughs> fuck. Wait, we make it think, whoa, yes, we make him think he's falling asleep at his desk. Oh, he's working so hard. He fell asleep at his desk. He woke up, scary times. Ha ha, you woke up at your desk. You're fine. Just that on repeat for like cool. eight hours. I can do that. Um... I'm, before I go to sleep, we're gonna cast dream on the, the scary couple. things are very sexual pens, just to like, <laughs> just to like really complicate oh. his waking hours. I'm not doing that. That sounds weird. No, um, just like because he has to work with pens. That'll make that'll make the workplace situ- like weird for him, and it'll be like your whole job is to do stuff with pens. Why are you being weird, Spigot? <laughs> and he'll be unable to explain it. Oh, so like yeah, sexy no, scary, right? Um. Cool. I'm gonna it's cast Dream on Spigot. Uh, cool pot. <laughs> what? All right. So I'll make a wisdom save because you're making it scary. I am. So. Uh, 
17. The messenger appears regardless. This is like he gets this dream yeah, yeah, regardless. Yeah, yeah. It's whether or not he has a bad mm -hmm. sleep. Um, it is a wisdom save of 18, so he fails yeah, anyway. He fails. Uh, it's going to be, I, I am going to do the reoccurring thing uh, where he wakes up at his desk, but it's him with his face peeled off uh, and just stuck through like like Hellraiser with pens, with quills. Um, and just because it has to be a 10 word message because it's horrifying. It's just what you're doing is wrong over and over. And every time he wakes up, it starts again for the next eight hours. Uh, and he will, <laughs> oh shit, I forgot about this part. Yeah, he takes some damage. He, he takes some damage. damage. Are you gonna kill this kill guy this from guy? across the world? I hope not. Yo, this is sick. It's, we can just kill very sick. petty people, like who aren't important. Think... But like someone who like slighted us, or we saw a kick a cat or something. Has an aneurysm just... in the night. Yeah, <laughs> it was three d six damage. Is this so guy takes... taking eighteen. He takes ten points of psychic damage. Oh, that's fine. Okay. He's probably alive. <laughs> we'll okay. see when he casts it on him tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, um, and he doesn't he doesn't get in the benefit of a rest. Okay. Um, oh, all his his whole job is is skill checks. That's his whole job. Yes, yeah, so he gets we're, one point of exhaustion. We're gonna get this guy fucking fired. <laughs> I he might be dead. I did 10 damage to it just a dude. Not Either only, way, they're gonna have to replace him. This not is not only tough. that, but he's he's gonna start with less health tomorrow. Like he's not gonna have gained any regained any oh, health from his rest. True. So if you do it tomorrow, it'll yeah, stack on the day. Yeah, yeah. So I have to alternate days. <laughs> um, this is good. I like this. Before before bed, um I am going to commune Tim. Okay. Because I can both commune and divine and it doesn't interact with each other. Mm -hmm. Um Bro, that's wild. Yeah, right. <laughs> Cleric shit. Cleric shit. Um so I think I think it would be too hard for Neppy to sleep in her house without Kokanee and the babies there. Um, so I'm actually probably going to sleep in the solarium. Okay. Um, <clears throat> would be nothing that I wouldn't have slept on before the sand or a mat on the sand. Um, so I'm going to unfurl my prayer mat with candles <clears throat> at the like late afternoon. Um, and for, uh, for simplicity's sake, before I do so, I would uh, cast a sending message to uh, Karakel to ready themselves for us tonight. Okay. I would cast Kamea to bring the council, and I would cast uh, to Kato in uh, asking mm -hmm. him to join us okay. as well. Um, they all agree to come or Kamea. He's like, I'll, I'll bring the, I'll gather the council. Great. Um, and uh, I would unfurl my prayer mat down, um, cast darkness uh in the entire solarium uh and then move into <coughs> my commune yep. your grace it has been a day of days i know that your sight can be limited sometimes but i need your help please please keep everyone in your prayers and your thoughts and keep us safe and keep me strong so that I may keep them safe. I know that you may not be able to see this based on interference from the Forge Father, but my first question for you is Heliag Stormstone's soul free and willing to return to her body? See the cat kind of pad out of the dark and you hear a voice in your head. Her soul is beyond my sight. That's as much as I thought, but I will try anyway. My second question. Does do you I'm sorry, I'm trying to word this correctly. I know. Do you know 
Will the dawn prism, if completely forged and remaining in the hands of Wirangdun, will it be used in a way that is goes against our goals? I do not know. That's all right. I figured I'd ask anyway. And finally, because if anything, I need the confirmation. Was that Moradin who hurled his hammer at me and the meteor was rained down on Blackwater? Yes. Then you know what he's done. And I would spend the rest of my prayers detailing her everything that he has done and all of the souls that he sent her way that did not deserve that. Telling and the mom. pettiness <laughs> and the pettiness of a god to heal his pride. I would tell her about the blade. I would tell her that he let that blade be forged that allowed it to be put in her sister's hand to kill Drake. just kind of sits with you listening the whole time. It doesn't, doesn't respond. And I would end my prayers with please, I need you. I need you to keep us safe. I'm doing everything I can, and I still feel as if sometimes it is not enough. I cannot be everywhere at once. There is not six of me. But the powers you give me have allowed me this far, and I am so gracious for them. Please look fondly on Kokini and my children, and Philenis Karakel and Asenonix. Send your warmth to all of my sisters. We will be doing lots of work in the days to come. You see as the cat kind of pads over to you and kind of nuzzles your calf. And then as it sort of turns to walk back into the darkness, you see a number of other eyes kind of open in the darkness all around you. Kind of those reflective cat eyes that just continue out into the darkness all around you as the darkness fades. <clears throat> uh, and with that, I would uh, pull up my sending stone and send a quick good night to Kokini and go to sleep. All right. Sounds good. Is there anything else anyone would like to do before your rest? Yeah. 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 If Kale um, saw that Nepi was going to the solarium to sleep, he would sort of tentatively walk over to the master bedroom, have a peek inside. No one's there. What kind of <laughs> bed do you got? Um. Um. Yeah, letters is going through the medicine cabinet, and just being like. I mean, you're in a house no. full of two clerics. There's probably not a full medicine cabinet. No, I just love the idea of being like, oh, it's the first time in this place. We can kind of snoop yeah. around. Okay. Love that. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't go through what's medicine the medicine cabinet. Like? What's I'm the just, bed like? I'm just so the Big king size. Yeah, it's huge. The bed bedroom is uh, the almost the top floor of the house. It's almost like it with a vaulted ceiling. And you see the bed is below a giant skylight. Like it's so, the window is so big um, that you can just see the whole of the, the whole night sky or like the, would be the night sky uh, above. Uh, the room is quite minimal um, with a, you know, two chest, two armoires, uh, a chest of drawers and uh, everything is in like dark woods and very light linens. Um, the, it would be like, you would, you, you would, this would be very commonplace in somewhere very warm. Uh, the bedding here. It's like linens. Do I find any pajamas? No. 
No pajamas. No. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I mean, there would probably be some like of Kokanee's pants, like like his, his shirt, linen his trousers. And does, he have, does he have a shirt there? Kokanee takes both of his shirts with him. Thank you. That's true. <laughs> the, the closet is empty. <laughs> Kale, would, Kale would snuggle up in the bed. In my bed. And just sort of lay there and think. It's so comfortable. God, it's so comfortable. In the bed of two high priestesses. Look, you are Kale. <laughs> so go to sleep. What a uh, weird thing to do at your friend's house. Fine. Uh, th- two or three cats would come join you on the bed. Oh, yeah. I have to know. There needs to be. We can get into what these cats are, but I need a specific number. Unless, if it's not a specific number of cats in your house, is your house just open to strays? Oh wow! Oh goodness. Well, there would be like. There would probably be two or three that would be that would come inside the house um, at any given point, but you would see that there would be like on the front veranda that wraps around the house. There's like water bowls and food. I got it. You don't house. have pets. You have a reserve uh, that cats <laughs> Jim, can come to. They all have the parasite. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened? Mm-hmm. No, trichomoniasis is the pork parasite. Oh Toxic no. Plus for Gandhi. <laughs> Toxic plus for Gandhi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to those all those dogs that Finn and adopted? They're still at your house. <laughs> like you, like, I mean, the last you checked. But they're also you would know just from like time being in the city. Like especially since coming back from say Valeria, there is a wild dog problem in Wolfrein. <laughs> like on a very like like you guys never have to deal with it. It's not it never something that crosses your path. But you kind of have heard about it and seen. There's been some signs up around like you know like the level night, one adventurers a dog <laughs> attack oh my gosh cool. there is an in- cool. there has been a significant increase in wild dogs oh because i got all the wild dogs and put them in one place i see i see i'm the problem and you're like you, i mean not necessarily you but like it was at your house and you haven't been there you haven't spoken to your dad or the caretaker <laughs> didn't i leave them at kamea's house no you no i did she said don't take house. those here yeah, yeah. yeah. You try. You assume you can kind of piece together that your dad or the caretaker maybe just was like, "Get these out of here," <laughs> and just released them. So it's not your fault. That's a that's a that's a later mission where I'm gonna round them all up, and bring them to the keep. <laughs> it's a level twenty. <laughs> yeah, that's like the idea of a level twenty character trying to round up dogs, like tens of fives of dogs, is hilarious <laughs> to me. Anyways, we sleep. If I can letters mention this to Clack that he needs to have a backup spell book. Like Oh yeah, man. Yeah, this is wild. You don't have I, that? I, I don't know. I ne- never got around to it. I was hanging out with paladins when I, I yeah. guess I should have been book learning. Yeah. I could do it on like uh, some stones if you want. I could chisel yeah. some tablets, maybe. I think yeah, when we have time, I would love that. I would love Yeah. You know what? You know what be cool? Just somewhere secret in the dojo, just all the walls. Oh, are inscribed yeah. with the spells. That'd oh, be tight. yeah. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah, the that'd Sanctum. Be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Finn and walking down the hallway to go cast Dream goes, Oh, I've been looking to get some tattoos, so you're welcome to tattoo it on my back as well if you want. I'll just like, <laughs> like just as I pass the door. It's a wild offer, and of course that's a yes. <laughs> I mean, I've never tattooed, but sure, I could try. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's the same yeah. as chiseling. Yeah, okay, mm. cool. It's like chiseling flesh. It's the same thing. Uh, oh, uh, right. Finn in hearing this because he hears everything is like, oh, I regret that offer. All right. So you all have your long rest. Oh, um, thank goodness. And the morning light comes streaming through the house as day breaks. It's midnight. It is mid- midnight breaks. Uh, the <laughs> moonlight streams into the house um, as you all sort of have this magical alarm. Um, Clack goes and wakes you all up. Um, and uh, as it's just alarm. a little bit before midnight, as you know, you have to travel into the city. It's a couple hours, so it's it's not too much later. But um, so you uh, you all gather up your things in the night and head towards Wolfrein. How would you like to get to the temple? Temple Carry. Are, are we trying to be sneaky here? It would probably be best if we're not seen through the city. Right, I can help with that. We don't really need to, we're, I mean, we're in open forest land here and grassland here, so we can walk to the edge of the city and then perhaps be as quiet. Oh, well, we could do the same thing as we did 
um, in the tunnel. It'll take a little longer, but if we're like really trying to be, either we can we can all be a little more stealthy, or we can be literally invisible one at a time. Also, hi raiders, hello dorks, welcome in. Hello, coming. Right up. Um, I don't think we need to break the bank on this just to get us into the temple district. Nothing. Oh, I can cast invisibility whenever I want. Boop, boop, boop. Right. I strove in and out. Well, I leave that in your capable hands. Whatever you decide is best. And Ooh. Dempy just goes about shutting up her house and yep. then we head on out. So you head into the city through the kind of the forests on the outskirts, kind of by the coast. Um, and it takes you about, you know, about an hour to get just the outsides of the city. Um, and you get closer to the kind of city walls. Um, how would you like to enter into the city? See, there's the kind of open gate. Um, it's still open for, for travelers and things like that, but there are guards and there's no kind of daytime traffic, so it's pretty quiet. Are they are they looking for all of us or are they just currently looking for Cali? I don't think anybody's looking for anyone. I think we're just trying not to to interact with as few people as possible. Oh, are we just... Oh, no, that's easy. Um... Nobody's wanted. We're just... Oh, no, no, of course not. We're just trying to keep a low profile. Uh, letters. If you could be anything, what would it be other than letters? I'm sure Probably you're this guy, yourself. and he cast this guy's self as... Yeah, don't need to uh, do it. Uh, it's uh, me! Just... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, that'd be fucked. No, no, that'll raise too many questions. A big <laughs> patch? That would rock this world to its core. So he'll just be like a really thick man. Um, just Danny DeVito, but like you pulled the edges of the like if, image on the paper. Just if the movie uh, where Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger have a yeah, baby. Twins. Yeah. No, no, that's a different movie. <laughs> there are two Danny the one DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. <laughs> Junior, excuse me. Junior. <laughs> if that baby was the, the genetic yeah, yeah, yeah. result that's of what Danny I'm going and Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm going as Junior Senior. All right, awesome. Um, uh, Clack, what do you want to look like? Anything in the world other than oh, maybe man, not a badge? We are probably Gorge. That guy's pretty cool. <laughs> totally unaffiliated. Totally unaffiliated with maybe not a patch. Okay. Unaffiliated with Blackwater. Oh, okay, well, you said anybody's. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I did the, say. The ice cream guy. Sure. Uh, is the ice cream guy. What race is the ice cream guy? He's a human. He's cool, a human. it's going to be a short ice cream guy then because I can't change his size. Oh, wait, no, I can. Corel. Sorry, I can. Yeah, I'm just going to make Corel. him the ice cream guy because I can. Because this yeah. spell works that way. Because I can make everyone look like cows. Um, Seeming. Uh, Kale. Yeah. Seeming, yeah. Kale, what do you want? What's your order? Um, I don't worry about it. I've got it. And I click my fingers and I turn into an older looking gentleman, incredibly good looking, uh, slightly balding, um, some scars, uh, definitely seen some life. Uh, how's this? Perfect. Thank um, you. uh, Nappy, what are you feeling? What do you crave? Pick your fancy. I Whatever. <sighs> okay. Uh, Callie. Uh, same as Neppy you can pick. Ooh. Twins. Twins. Same yeah, as oh, Neppy. You heard her. A pair of identical obviously. twins. Obviously. Um, uh, A pair of identical twins, but make one slightly more handsome. I've got it. I'm going to cast mm-hmm. Seeming. Uh, 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 Clack is just going to be the regular sized ice cream man. Mm-hmm. Uh, Neppy and Callie are going to be twin pair of black tabaxi um, people just in like regular clothes um, and then I'm going to layer because I can cast it on everyone around me I'm just going to layer another enchantment over um, kale and letters that just looks the same but just like a, just like a, a <laughs> contingency illusion <laughs> okay sounds good yeah if, if someone can see through one illusion they'll see most of Blackwater yeah yeah, yeah hang exactly. out with just a big guy and <laughs> a there handsome is the old one guy. person in the world who can only see through one layer of illusion we've got it <laughs> uh, and then myself I will just look uh, like a um, I'll look like the opposite of Finnan so like kind of kind of pudgy um kind of like really nondescript one of those people that when you look at your just eyes kind of slide over their face they're like just so there's just nothing extraordinary about this person's face um 
and yeah he's just gonna be like a super nondescript dude in just like regular okay. outfit do so you head through the gate um the guard kind of is like um what's your business in the city it's it's a bit late well, here to I, buy. <laughs> yeah palm him uh, like a gold coin okay <laughs> our our wagon lost a wheel so we're 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 walking uh, unfortunately um to buy some goods but also to you know find someone who can help us uh, a farrier to help us fix the wheel so uh if you'd be so kind we're <laughs> you can make a deception check for me please you can imagine we're bloody exhausted uh that is a 26 hey, yes. uh, of course most of the shops will be closed for the night but um there's plenty of inns near the harbor you're welcome to stay the night there. We the shops we're going it. to never close. <laughs> I'm gonna wink at him. <laughs> he is so on edge now. Thank uh, you. Yes. Thank you. All right. uh, <laughs> it's like have a good night. Yeah, you, as, you as well. In. Uh, le- if it's just good, it'll be a bust. I promise you. <laughs> letters. Next time we're trying to be uh, inconspicuous. Let me do the talking. All I'm saying is no one would report somebody who's like outwardly that horny. Like, it's fine. <laughs> like, that'll be, that's an uncomfortable conversation to mention. Like, that's, that, that, that interaction dies with that man. You were in a real horny mood. You, the dreams that you get, were suggesting last night and that whole thing. Hey, I almost died. And like. That's fair. That's fair. People deal with reacting. that in their own way. Yeah. I went for a jog is how I react. Um, <laughs> two kinds of people. Yeah. <laughs> so you make your way through the city, uh, over to Temple Caracal. Uh, outside very... of the door. Mm-hmm. Finan, can you drop this? I, I drop it. Thank you. All right. Um, I would take a second and like put. Oh, we would have also taken the body with us. Um, you can assume that we would have taken the body of the queen with us. In the um, yeah. oh no, you can't the change day. their body type. So it was just a shorter ice cream man. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for telling us. Uh, all right, so into Temple Caracal you head, um, and you can see a number of the priestesses, including Trixie, uh, are there. Um, candles have been lit, um, and kind of preparations have been made for the resurre- uh, resurrection ritual. Um, and you can see the council is there as well, uh, as Cato Hascani. Um, the council looks um, kind of, I mean, they all look tired. Um, you can see Wendell's kind of standing there with his arms crossed, looking kind of grumpy. Wendell, this is a house of prayer, so. So I can't be grumpy here? Is that what you're telling me? It's a peaceful place. I encourage you to adopt that. <laughs> I just give him like the most saccharine smile, just like so sweet. You know, I think this is ludicrous. We're even doing this. Probably. Just- he just like settled back in. Do it. I'll go nugget. straight over to Wendell and just give him a big handshake, like one of those two-handed ones, and say, "Hey, Wendell, good to see you. Really appreciate." He doesn't you take your hand when you offer it. He it keeps his lot. arms crossed. He is like he is visibly cross. Man of <laughs> principles. Whole. He's endeavor. always cross. I'm so over Wendell. And it's important funny. to have consistency. Don't listen to her, Wendell. Look at me. Look at me, <laughs> and only me. <laughs> so um, I have to back away. From I know the you scene. all saved the city, and I know you're all heroes. But if you ask me, you're all a little bit too powerful. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. Well, that's why we want you here. We need more powerful people to back up our story. That's why I asked specifically for you by name, and that's true. Well, then I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, I hope we do. I'm going to lean to Callie and be like, should I start doing Dream on Wendell? (laughs) I can really fuck up his life. (laughs) No? Okay. All right. Oh, man. (laughs) Kind of steps over. I'm sorry. Um, everyone is just a bit on edge. Um, uh, you are welcome. I'm gracious that you all are here. Um, please, we'll we'll go into the back room. Um, so we would walk around, and the priestesses would have prepared the table. Uh, in one corner of the room, there is a a large obsidian statue of a cat uh, in the corner on a on a long, uh, equally obsidian table. Um, uh, Isa, the Samet, would be there completely robed in uh, black, her face covered. Um, and I would I would look to her. Priestess, are we ready? She kind of nods her head. Good. 
Um, so I would lay out the body uh, on the table. Um, and I would look to and prepare all of the necessary um, this might be a big ask, and I'm absolutely willing to use. Are there any diamonds that the city would be willing to contribute to this? And it is all right if your answer is no. Um, I will have to speak to Wendell. He is the treasurer. Perhaps put it this way. And I would lean in with her. I will use our diamonds up front. And if there is any the city is willing to re-contribute back, that would be appreciated, but not expected. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and I would look to everyone. Now, this, I don't know if any of you have seen a resurrection ritual before, but it will require the soul of Queen Heliag Stormstone of the Crystal Caverns, would require her soul to be willing and able to return. We will need to attempt to encourage her soul back to her body. One of those will have to come from me as the person performing the ritual. But another, no, it's generally three. Kamea, I would recommend you as the other reigning monarch to be one of the others, if you are comfortable doing so. Yes, yes. And I ask now if there is anyone else who has had sufficient interaction with Her Majesty. Council all kind of look at each other. I'm afraid many of us had not had the opportunity to speak with her. She was... Um, a woman of uh, um, tradition, so the council was not often granted access. Fina. And as kind of steps back. Thank you. If there's yes. no volunteers, um, I've been known to be somewhat persuasive in the past. Um, I can feed a line to kind of massage her ego or her soul. I don't know if it changes the dynamic with the soul stuff but again I'm, I'm not bad at spinning a spinning a sentence that may be helpful all right my hope here is that we are able to reconstitute her but if this does not happen then we will at least have tried because of what happened. We cannot leave this let stand. Before I do this, I should explain to you how we have come to be in possession of her body. And I would explain. I'm sure we as a party would spend the next 15, 20 minutes explaining all of the interactions, every nuance, every detail, like even the most minute details. Yeah. Um, and now my plan here, as we have talked, is to resurrect her. Afterwards, I will cast Zone of Truth. And I myself will be in the circle, as well should Kelly, if you're willing to, as the one stand most accused of the yeah, assassination I, attempt. I can also cast it. Oh, good. Oh, a tweak on that. Yes. I'm assuming no one else can cast the resurrection spell that's in this room. No most one else is powerful not. enough. Cool. No. That unfortunately takes the zone of truth shouldn't be cast by either of you. That's true. Kato okay. kind of steps forward. I agree with Finn and um, if you don't mind, I I would be honored, Kato. Yeah. Is he you still know. wearing his black water ring? Uh he has taken it off for he is not wearing it at the moment. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Remind me who Kato is again, because I've mixed him up with um, He's your shadow form. <laughs> He's, He's the your, other young paladin. Former, yeah, formerly. Cool. cool. I'd mixed no. him up with uh, his, it, base safe guy. I'm sorry. That's Codus. Codus Codus. Codus. Hey guys. I was like, why is Codus here? I was so confused. Yeah. You need to yeah. lighten it up a bit. You ever been to a resurrection? <laughs> what a snore fest. Um, I've been hired to right. do a lot of these. Because um, <laughs> I, yeah, 
my concern is if this doesn't work, the resurrection, some could say that we didn't do our due diligence, but unfortunately that that is a bridge we just have to cross. Um, so fingers crossed. But yeah, Zone of Truth shouldn't be cast by any member of Blackwater. This will be the second time someone from the Temple of Palor will have cast Zone of Truth on me. So I trust you folks will do it, do it right. All right, is everyone ready? Good. Well, let's begin. Um, so I would take out a thousand gold pieces of diamond, <sighs> hemorrhaging diamonds. Um, and I would, I mean, there's no mouth left, but I would place the diamonds uh, in the correct position for the ritual mm -hmm. and begin casting resurrection. Yeah. So for this, you actually pour them into the cavity of the body because yeah. there is you're able to do that. Yes. You kind of pour them into the chest cavity of the of the body um, as you kind of watch as the candles get lit around you. And you hear kind of soft chanting from the other acolytes. <clears throat> I would use uh, the queen's full title when addressing her. I don't know it, me, Emma, but I would, Neppy would, and would use it as addressing her. Your esteemed majesty. I know very little about you. I know that you are a profoundly esteemed monarch. You have reigned over your people with such grace pride and care. It shook me to my core to watch your city fall. Without you to helm it or to help it regain its footing. We have spoken very little and I know you think me rude and uncouth. But no, I speak honestly. Your majesty, your people need you. They need your leadership. They need your guidance. They need a stormstone to lead them. Not a high priest. A queen. Take it from one high priestess who would never, ever, ever wish to be a monarch. You know what you're doing. So please, please, let me bring you back. Your people need you. Make a persuasion check for me, please. Twenty-six. Ooh, okay. Kamea kind of steps into the circle. She looks down at the body of the Empress. Empress, as a fellow monarch, I demand your presence this very instant. She's going to roll an intimidation check. Hell oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Come on, yeah. Right, she rolled a 19. Ooh. It kind of stiffens her back, and you hear that kind of like royal tone that you you aren't really privy to um, and don't often see from Kamea. She kind of steps out of the, the circle, kind of head held high. I give her a nod. I look to Finnan. Uh, I step forward. I also use the whole title. Um, it is true that your people need you. You, your house, your clan, your family have been betrayed. But it could also be said that the world needs you. We stand on a precipice. And without 
all of us united. It's a dangerous place for the world to stand. We need you, Empress. The whole world, not just your people. We need your strength and your grace. Please return to us. Make a persuasion check as well. Let's do a natural 20. Uh, that is a 23. Uh, 33. Nice. Okay. Wow. So you kind of step back and you watch as the diamonds dissolve and the candles kind of intensify for a moment as you see the kind of radiant energy spill all the way through the body and out, extending out to where the limbs would be. And you see the form start to recoalesce where it would be the body, the shape of the body starts to reform. And you watch for a moment as it seems as it's going to come together. You watch as that form kind of contorts and writhes around. The body starts writhing around horrifically and bending and you see the whole thing kind of have this shimmer of ice cold energy just across it before the body goes stiff and sinks once again. There's a chill that runs through the whole room. The body is lifeless. Did it bring her body back? No. It looked as though it almost did. And then something pulled the soul never reconnected with the body so the body did not reform did the ice look anything like any of arathian powers anything like that make a religion make an arcana no an arcana check okay arcana move Letters would be wondering if he, he'd see anything like this can i okay. can i do that as well make an arcana check i'm curious about this icy magic that's not bad I don't know anything. 21. 21. Uh, I'll have everyone take their headphones out except for, oh, uh, just for, except sure. for my man letters here. You see the, the ice that formed different. There was a reddish tinge to it and it was jagged. Every edge was uh, covered in jagged spikes smaller than the next this was a violent uh kind of magic this cold ice was inhospitable it's a matron thing you've never seen the matron deal any kind of cold damage in that way hmm. this this not something that you've come across but you do recognize like something it's something odd. Okay. So as the chill kind of spreads out through the room, you see the council is shaken. Um, so what, what does this mean? It means that her soul is being purposefully held back. You see, um... The queen was a proud woman, and I can imagine, Khmer, you can attest to this, but there is something that sits very strongly within me, that if this... this queen, this empress, had an opportunity to return to her people, where she was adored, she would. Kato, right? Yeah. I, I think it's time for that uh, zone. Of course. You see he starts to cast zone of truth around okay. you, Nepenthe. Extend my hand to Callie to step in the circle with me. All of us. Yeah, All I'll, of us. I'll step in as well. And I'll willingly fail the saving throw. I too will willingly fail the saving throw. Okay. Kato. Yep. All right. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Black is like, no! I look to the uh, council. Well, none of us can lie. So ask any questions you wish. Now is your time. See, and as kind of steps forward, 
It's the old dragonborn kind of raises his glasses. And as he's about to speak, Wendell kind of pipes up and cuts him off. Oh, no. Were you there when she died? No. I don't think no. so. No. She was dead when we were in the room. We walked in and she was already dead. Were you trying to start a war? No. Of course not. Well, that's the whole point of this. We're trying to get to the bottom of it. And you see some of the other council members and as kind of like stares down his nose. <laughs> <He> <laughs> oh, kind of Wendell, I appreciate back. your candor, please. You know, this is what we're here for. He's right. He, he's <laughs> right, everyone. This is what we're here for. Yes, I'm, I apologize. for. Is Admiral Kazim <sighs> here as well? Yes, Admiral Kazim and... Mm. Um, he was the, the one general. who asked me all the questions last time. Yeah, the, the, uh, the general is also there, Illyrian Solgar. Um, and they've remained relatively quiet. Um, they've been sort of keeping kind of an even keel through all of this, not really playing their hand um, or tipping their hand or anything. They've just been trying to remain neutral. Zandaz kind of clears his throat. <clears throat> Sorry for the rudeness. Um, we should afford them some courtesy. They have saved the city countless times. Anyway, um, what was your purpose in visiting the Queen the first time? My understanding is it's, this wasn't the first time you've been to Wirangdun. The first time? We went to Wirangdun. We had been to Sirangdun before, not mm. Wirangdun, which was where we discovered Megrin and the Hearth of Ages. Megrin mm. is the forge keeper now, and Gola, her assistant. After we returned from the Earth and Mental Plane, Kamea let us know that Wirangdun had taken Sirangdun, and we were having difficulty contacting. Megrin and Gola and assuring their safety. So we went to Wirangdun. We discovered through a mixture of scrying and sending that Megrin was being held against her will, but treated fairly. Gola, however, tortured for what he knew about the hearth. When he goes, what's the hearth? What's this hearth of ages? Oh, it's this Mayor, big, big... you never said anything about a hearth. Oh, the hearth is great. It's awesome. It's this big, big uh, uh, fucking anvil, a forge. Uh, makes really sick weapons. It's uh, Show him the sword. Show him the sword. Uh, I also would like to say that I was able to contact Galar, and Galar told me that he'd been taken by the dwarves. Hmm. You'll have to take his word for it. The, the sword is fucking rad. Anyways, it makes things like that. I don't want Wendell to be uncomfortable me drawing my weapons and whatnot. Well, then perhaps since this is not a weapon, I pull out the hand of Io. Hmm. Do you know what this is, Wendell? Illyrian, or um, Admiral Kazim goes, that is the hand of Io. I reforged it. Hmm. Or Finan and Megrin reforged it. And I helped. This hearth must be powerful indeed. It is. And it is now in the hands of the city who just declared war on us. On the hands of who we assume? The god who just declared war on us. None of We're in the truth knows. circle. It's the fucking Forge Father. It's He's of... throwing meteors at people. It's bad news. Cato kind of steps forward. Um, sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt but you believe it's a he's a god when asmodeus forged the dagger that was needed to kill the raven queen marden knew and did nothing but and marden is willing to do anything to keep that information from reaching people um sorry if i'm stepping out of line but why would a god present himself on the material plane from my reading that is when they are most vulnerable Pride. the matron died when she manifested in physical form I believe he considers himself untouchable hmm. he has 
exceedingly strong pride. And oh, arrogance, so knew, if yes. he is choosing to take a mortal form. We also knew his secret, and he was willing to do whatever it took to stop it. He tried to lock us, Kelly, myself, and Lettuce, in a prison that he, inte- that he built for the last person who knew his secret, Emperor Ludibek of the Bloodstone clan. This was thousands of years ago. They kidnapped us, put us in an anti-magic cage, and put us deep within the mountain. We were freed and had to leave without any of our items, as well as not assuring the safety of our friends. We returned to Wolfreen and tried to retrieve our items diplomatically without causing any more upstart. I asked for them to be given to us peacefully and we were led into the throne room where we were told that the queen herself wished to give us back our items only to walk around and see Kelly's sword impaled in her chest with vines breaking her jaw so that nobody may speak to her in death as was similar to the presentation of Emperor Ludebeck when we've seen him before in the Shadowfell. To answer your question, Kato, we don't know why he's doing that. It is fucking weird. But he is. Uh, The god. God confirmed it. Uh, Yes, I talked to Nephthys again. Last night. And she did confirm that he's more Just strange that he would take such an extraordinary risk. Right? What a fucking weirdo. They're also forging a Dawn Prism. (laughs) Anybody know what a dawn prism is? Nissa? No? Yeah. Wendell? Well, uh, I, uh, Nissa, I, yeah, I do, um, somewhat. I, I, I believe in the last, in the dawn war, the way that they sealed the titans away was they used a dawn prism to separate the planes. So you would need something like that to reconnect them. Or to further separate. Could Marden be trying to separate the gods? Sealing them away from this world, not being able to manifest. He alone access to the material plane. Peak. And one fell swoop, he deals with the matron of vengeance and all the rest of the gods and could cut off our power could cut off the power of any god on the material plane and through their agents and vessels such as us as clerics and paladins divine magic sealed off except for him but the gods are already sealed in their planes they only they are able to traverse those barriers if they wish to we still receive their power Perhaps it feels like there is a piece we are missing. What this is my thought, but and please, I do have I have absolutely no confirmation of it. So this is pure conjecture. What if he was not simply complicit, like uh, aware of the blade, but complicit in its forging? That would be troubling indeed. I don't know why he would, but I do know that it was his hand, Pelo and Erethis, who sealed the Titans away. He took strong steps to make sure that his tracks were covered, sealing the Titans away. Perhaps they know. Remind me again how Erethis didn't die but disappeared. Was it just because Cardoc? her city flash froze when she was in mortal form on the material plane to try and help when Ishvale, the ice Titan was impaled on the city spire. Uh, it's essentially separated her mortal form from her divine form. I find it hard to not connect the, the coincidence of one of the three gods involved in sealing away the Titans, Arathus being in mortal form, fighting an ice Titan. Um, seems very, 
convenient timing, along with the fact that we just tried to resurrect the Empress and were stymied by frost magic. You think Arathis has a hand in this? Name? No, I think Arathis got taken out of the picture or the attempt was made to do that. Arathis was taken down with ice magic, ice magic. I like, this is just conjecture again, but there could be more players at the table than we realize. When we, when we were traveling to the temple, Finan, um, you told me about, there was a power vacuum in, I don't know, was it, was it in hell or was it in? The abyss. The abyss. The abyss. What if it's not to separate? What if he wants to put it all back together now that the chain of oblivion's gone? What if, what if he wants to control everything? And the only way to do that is to make it so that he can get to everybody. He can't get to everybody if they're all split away. I don't he know. Wants, it's, it's an interesting thought. He wants the matron gone. She now being back is one of the biggest pieces of evidence against him and the blade she holds eternal's undoing who do we you're, you're muted. muted who do we know is affiliated with ice magic that could do something like what we saw today saw today uh mortals or gods either very powerful anything super super powerful Kokanese magic has ice. Make a religion check. <clears throat> Me? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm good at those, says the cleric. That's a natural 20. There she so is. So 30. So you would know that um, ice magic tends to come along now with Arathis, but that's a newer development um, with her kind of taking over that demi plane as her own. Um, you would know that uh, ice magic sometimes goes along with Saloon, um, but more of sort of a um, uh, not in like more of kind of in an obscuring way, um, blizzards and things like that. Um, and the other thing that rings to you as kind of powerful ice magic is you are aware that there is a whole layer of hell that is dedicated. Kind of, yeah. Carnia, dedicated to ice. And it's a violent, violent place. You watch as like, just like this pale, paleness, neppy skin goes a lighter blue. I think, I think the Empress's soul is in hell. One of the layers, I would relay what I knew. If, if the devils are involved in this, Asmodeus being the keeper, I think that lends a bit more credence to not such as aware but complicit. A gift, perhaps? A deal struck? A bargain made? Hey, there is a chance that Morden is just straight up a betrayer god who never got caught. If he wasn't then, he is now. is troubling indeed the skinny is we don't know what he wants but we do know we need to stop him because he's fucking fucking up cities and shit we're gonna keep on doing what we're doing we told you all about the titans and the gods and stuff um that's more pressing than ever um the question is now is do we try and get megrin well i think we just we're gonna try. we're gonna see about that but you know these people don't have to be there for that and you see admiral kazim i think it is important that we either destroy that forge or somehow take control of it i think that is imperative admiral with the utmost respect i would encourage you before you pass judgment on what to do with the forge, I would like you to talk to Megrin first. 
and hear about it and learn about it first, rather than thinking about what it could do. For Mufrin, I'd like you to hear about its history first. And we so get that person. I agree with the general in, in that we want it out of the hands of Marden, but the forge shouldn't belong to any one nation. That needs to be established right away. But they're, yeah, getting it out of the hands of, of the dwarves is pressing. Dwarves, just Moradin. I don't think they're all complicit in it. Well, complicit is such that, like, being commanded by... I know, I know. You know. Should we go see about it then? Yeah, Who wants to scry? Who wants to send? I can send. Do you want to scry? Do we each want to do one? And Yeah, they can scry, so, yes. <laughs> Great, I'll send. Can hey! I, something I can also dream if we, if we want to try, instead of sending, I can send a spell that does the same thing, but I get the spell slot back. I've already touched my ear. Hey, Ooh. Magrin, it's letters. If now would be a good time to come get you, grunt twice. <clears throat> Fuck, sorry, Magrin. Was that one grunt? Because <laughs> you kind of went. <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> okay, got it, got it. <laughs> and that's two spell slots for letters. <laughs> yeah, she's clear. Let's go get her. Cousin Stumpy, thank you for the gift subs. Thank, thank you, Stumpy. You the <laughs> then we should go. We should make haste. Okay, Kale, you had something to say before we go? I was just going to say, I think as far as I understand, and you correct me if I'm wrong, um, the forge is pretty much useless without Magrin. Yes. Or less so that. Yeah, so I mean, as as long as we secure Magrin, the forge is basically... I wouldn't say useless. But, you know, not as yes. useful. Yes. Um, I th will keep my higher spell slots, uh, or I will keep my magic juice uh, letters in case we need to counterspell a, a anti-magic Yeah, Yeah, that, that reminds me, Callie, today I'm going to have to let you go and raw-brained. I'm going to need that eighth level. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, but yeah, I'm with you on that one. We're going, in, have... we're going in hot, yeah. Yeah, we're going in fucking hot. Okay, Wendell, whatever you look, need. and I pull, I pull my weapons out. Kind of jumps back. This, <laughs> Kelly. Let's do this thing. Yes. Is there anything before we go that you feel that you wish to get off your chest before the council? It. But I didn't do it, and I never would. My, I pledged an oath to my god, not only to Kamea, but to the oath of the crown. I try to stay back. And I'm going to look at Kamea when I say that. Kind of tear on her face. <laughs> I try to stay back to do this the right way. You have our faith. And you see the rest of the council kind of nods their head. Even Wendell kind of begrudgingly. Oh, yes. Just checks and balances. Cato, did we tell any lies? No, they did not. And were we all under the effects of the spell? Yes, they were. There we go. Cool. Y'all ready to boogie? Let's wait, kill some people. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go, are we still in the circle? Yeah. yeah. Clack, who's your favorite member of Blackwater? Oh, yo, that's... You're not allowed to ask that. Oh, see, he doesn't have to have to answer. Like, we can't lie, but we don't have to answer questions like that. Clark, it's fine. Listen, it's me, right? It's me. not fair. Like, it's not fair. Because it's obviously, obviously letters. I didn't say I anything. I don't know about that. I mean, we should um, we should go kill some folks. Let's before, there's different just before types we, of favorite. Just before we go, um, I'm uh, can I just lock eyes with Cato for a moment? Mm hmm. Just give him a nod. Is he wearing cleric's robes or is he still in his? He's in the Sunspeaker robes. Oh, good man. The Sunspeaker now. Good boy. Yep. Good that's man. A, that's the glow up we're living for. He's that's... fucking graduated. Oh, he took on his dad's job. God, that's oh, so hard. Okay. Finn yeah. can't help but not like Kato just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he went yeah. from being a bit of a shit to now he's, he's gone on a journey <laughs> he's gone on a journey that's a big sweet journey. Boy went on a big journey his dad died it was a big deal um okay i'm ready to go letters Actually, opens wait. his vest and like runs his finger along the uh symbol that uh uh what's it her nuts gave him uh of the Tennis? higher planes and you see uh fucking like big old wings of just like brain energy sprout from his back again we're going in hot so anything armor agathis mage armor whatever you got like, real quick uh kato while i'm in the zone of truth um i the relationship between myself and a patron that we have once shared uh just wasn't a good fit i didn't mean any disrespect i just I don't know if you can convey that. I just, I've been permanently blind since um, and do want to express that, like, you know, not expecting to get healed or anything, but like my intent wasn't to be an asshole about it. I just, it just wasn't a good fit for either of us. I'm glad he found a good fit. Um, He's not with me anymore. I, I can't help but notice that you're, you're very much got your vision. Yeah. Um, he uh he f fell under um some discipline from uh, the boss as it were cool 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 but just checking blind yeah. forever right uh i'll see what i can do <laughs> thanks i'll ask around listen you've got grounded <laughs> yeah listen like one way or the other. Oh, what a dick. Sorry, no, no disrespect. That was rude. Um, let's go kill some people. And I'm gonna Can use I... my uh the crystal that I have. Yeah. The thingy. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. I'm gonna use that to cast a third level um okay, armor regate this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold uh, a fifth level spell. Death ward on clack. Uh death ward on myself so that I don't go into shadow form and keep us stuck there. You're holding the spell. How are you like holding? The we'll, we'll, we'll time it. So like, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the spell so that the second we appear, I either cast it or don't. Okay. Or can, no, you have I, to have second, a specific. I have a specific trigger. spell. When no, you have when to have we, a specific trigger when when we, we when we land the the instant that we land in the cavern, I will cast it. It has to be okay. So you are casting them now. I will cast it the instant that we <laughs> land in the cavern. Fireball okay. straight down. <laughs> okay. Nothing can go wrong. Kale never makes bad plans. <laughs> Cannon. Let me just see if you can hold a spell while being through teleport? a teleport. Why not? I don't have Callie, constant. You wanna you wanna put anything on before we go? I have my armor, I assume on and my sword. Yeah, I don't, you got all I your don't, stuff. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Just I am, to... I am gonna activate my form as well. If like right before we go though, because I don't want to waste any time of that. But I'm we have to be... get Magrin and get out. Yep, that's the whole thing. Yep, that's the plan. And ideally, we all stay within ten feet of either me or Kale. And I can also have word of recall in the back pocket. Just Love in case. that. That's just great. in case. I'm also I'm also triggering triggering my trance. Of Right. Okay. Smoke them if you, you got can, them. You can hold it through the teleport, the, the spell. With right. armor vagasis and form, I have 200 hit points now. Hey, uh. Wow. Right. Let me see right. that. Uh, fucking uh, uh, hand of Io. It's just a very associative object. Ooh. Okay. Bless on Zalabin. everyone. With there the she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we go. And I forgot that I could cast it off. I can't sword. fuck it up. We just go. I don't think. Let me double check. This could still be hilarious. <laughs> no, we're in, maybe. Cool. All right. So you arrive in the forge, and you feel yourself land next to the anvil uh, as you kind of come into this, uh, into this round room. You can see two figures by the hearth, and you feel your magical abilities suppressed. As you go to cast the spell, Nothing happens. So, are you here to talk, or what exactly do you want? Answers. So, was Magrin there? It appears as though Magrin is next to Malthor by Does the Does she hearth. look scared? Like, can I insight check her? Make an insight check. Twenty-four. 
you don't, you've never seen, Magrin doesn't seem like the type of person who is scared. Um, but you can tell that they are bound at the moment. Bound? Um, their, their hand is shackled to uh, kind of a rod next to the hearth. So, I think we've been pretty consistent about wanting to get Magrin and Golar back. So we're just gonna keep on doing this until we do. Uh, I'm afraid no. Magrin is a bit occupied at the moment, and I don't know if your friend Golar survived. What happened? What you brought down on the city? He did. He's Astrid. a strong man. You should probably go help him then. It's just us here. Why are we pissing about saying that we brought down? Like, why are you? What game are you playing? What choice did I have? Oh, so you're saying it's our fault that you brought down destruction on your city? I. You oh, you're a bellend. I see. I see. I get. Well it. enough alone. You're worried about your secret mm. getting out. <laughs> Too late, but. I don't think any of you understand how insignificant you are in all of this. Then enlighten me, Forge Father, as to what your fucking problem is. I am trying to protect my city. And sacrificing the rest of the world with it. I don't care about the rest of the world. You just destroyed your city! You fucking spanner! Nothing brings a city together like a common enemy. That's true. That's all true. Do you need Magrin for a common enemy? Or can we just take her and then nobody has to fight here? Like, we can put in a good word. I'm afraid we I need her prowess at the forge. Oh, to come forge on. You're the forge father. You can forge whatever the fuck you want. Come on, man. You don't need her. You're, that's your whole fucking deal. Why are you forging a Dawn Prism? To protect Weir Angdun. I can strengthen the city's boundary. Are you trying to separate Weir Angdun from the material plane? No, just keeping the negative energy plane out. <laughs> to let the rest of the world. As no, said, no, he's he's scared. Yeah, that's what it is. Little boy. He's terrified of the he's terrified of the, the matron of vengeance, the almighty <laughs> forge father. And in that fear, he's been willing to kill his own people, destroy his own city. What a child. Petty, she petty will child. come for you. And oh, she will come for everyone. City. She'll have to come in. We were actively working on sealing her away. Why would you hinder that? Let's just go ahead. Oh! I don't trust you. You're mere mortals. Let Our us mortals help. die. Please, let us help. We are persistent. If nothing else, you can see that we are the most persistent people. You have tried to kill us in multiple different ways. Please, let us help. Yeah, if we were mere mortals, would we not already be dead? I'll give you that. You are persistent. Let us take Magrin and the Dawn Prism, and I give you my word. Ooh. Please. Be that easy. Please. What do you want? You can keep the Dawn Prism. I want my forge back. I believe this is Seer's forge. I know. That's why I can't use it. That's why I need Magrin. I can't use my forge right now. To I haven't been Lodis. able to for thousands of years. I've been Out. stuck here. You've been stuck on the material plane this whole time? I. <laughs> How do well, we fix it? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Why can't you go home? The crucible. It's corrupted. Why? As you crucible? all know, your forge. My forge. Right. By Asmodeus. I. Did you know the queen's in hell? I suspected as much. That's where all my followers go. The soul hearth has been corrupted. The seventh level. 
I'm not strong enough to go back and do it myself. Hey, I know you don't trust us, but we've been trying to help a lot of people too, and we know a lot of people who are Mordenites. And so you just put a big thing on our radar as well. Once again, our goals align. We want the matron sealed away, and we would love to get all your followers by association out of hell as well. Yeah, that's shitty. But we don't want that. I look, man. I know everyone here is really trying to piss you off. But we do not have to be enemies. We want to help. Put us in a zone of truth. We'll like See, he reaches into his pocket. You going for the hammer? Please don't go for the hammer. He doesn't go onto his belt. You can see the hammer is hanging at his belt. He oh, thank into Christ. His okay, cool. I mean, someone else. And he pulls out an iron nail. He tosses it over to you. What's that will this? get you into the crucible. If you really want to help. Yeah, what do we need to do? You'll purge the corruption from my forge. How? You'll have to destroy its occupants. Who? The fucking demons! Sorry, you got it. Devils. Devils. His name is Garion. Garion. A true name? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. We'll go and blast, and I do want to say, we could have done this from the start. Well, you came in pretty hot then. So did you. We, we, here, doesn't matter who said what. It <laughs> matters eyes, is. Like, roll into the back of his head. <laughs> we clear the crucible. You let Magrin go. And Golar, fucking, I, I know, fucking put some guys on that one for real this time, though. That's that's not I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. If we clear your crucible, you help us put the matron of vengeance away, not just for your city, but for the, the planet. World. I'm afraid you need me. That's yes, I'm I'm literally saying we'll clear the crucible, but I need your help then afterwards. I will help you. I'm the only one who knows how to forge a dawn prison. Right. Can I can I just say I like we're going to help you, but you are the most frustrating person I have yeah. ever interacted with. Because like we literally are arguing the same point. Yeah. From right. the uh, oh my, uh, listen, we will clear the crucible, but we want. Can we? I don't know. Is there some sort of guarantee we can get? I, yes. I, is there something? Can we? Can we hold on to the to the dawn prism in the meantime? Like I I want some sort of guarantee because up until now. You've done trust, a lot of betrayal. Trust has not been very strong between our groups. He kind of reaches down for his hammer. Jesus. And you see he smashes the shackles that are binding Magrin. And we take Magrin from here. He's like, it's up to her. Magrin. I have to keep forging. What? What are we you do, forging? We You're do need going that. to need this. We, we are gonna need it. It's true. Then I she gets to leave if stay. she chooses to, at her own free will. She has her free will. She is not under your thumb. And you return Gola to her immediately. This is the first time I've had to shackle her the whole time. Right. So, we clear your crucible. You help us save the whole world. I will. I'm going to step forward and put my hand out. Kind of steps forward, takes your hand. Deal. I... Circuitous route to get to it. Can we As cast the, like, magic, magic dome? Kind of like whoosh, the anti-magic shell kind of fades. Okay, somebody scry on Golar. Fuck, yeah. he's probably under a... Fucking pile of a city or some I'm gonna shit. Send, I'm gonna send to him. He's alive. I know he's alive, right? 
we did confirm he was alive when we got back to Karen and we confirmed well, that, let's we? send let's see I don't know if he did yeah we yeah, did we, uh, we it did. was yeah and yeah, he said and get you... Magrin he said get mm-hmm. Magrin yeah, yeah get yeah. Magrin that's the only thing that matters yeah I'm gonna send to Golar Golar we're with Magrin are you alive where are you do you know Stay strong. We're coming. I promise. Hear back. I am alive. I'm glad you have Magrin. I, uh, I'm on a boat, I think. The underport. I'm tired. But I'm here. I look at um, Morgan. <laughs> Goda is on a boat somewhere I'm assuming in the underport. He needs to be returned. This is his home. He has been through enough. Wait. Those are my terms, at least. And I will help with your crucible. Very well. If we fix the crucible problem, will the souls in hell, you know, get to leave? I hope so. Because that, listen, I don't, I don't want to go to hell, but we will if there's a bunch of fucking people who don't belong there. Right, let's go fuck up some devils. One last thing. You are a god. You are all powerful, but stuck here. But as a god, you deserve some modicum of respect. I apologize for my outburst earlier. But there is work that you are going to have to do within yourself and within your colleagues. Truly consider your next steps. I do not mean that as a threat, I mean that as a charge to you. Her Grace, Nephthysiket, has watched thousands and thousands of your followers die. And she has not been able to help. I have felt every one of those deaths. Good. So, don't talk to me about work. You have no idea. Respectfully, High Priestess. And we're all very excited to uh, uh, d- deal with that. Is there anything we need to know about the Crucible before we go there? Layout. I mean, I know you haven't been there in a minute, but any practical details we have found in experience are are often we get there like, oh, why didn't we just ask? Now's it's the time. A terribly big place. Um, I don't know that it's even recognizable from the last time I was there. Well, we need to shift planes to get there. Yes. Yeah, that's the... But this nail, that's going to land us in the hot zone. We want to go in kind of... It will land you in the crucible. It's only one large area. Oh, great. Talking cool. like a football so field or... We go in guns blazing. No, a little bigger than this forge. Oh. Probably about oh. three or four times the size. Oh, that's One big small. room. Oh, Got okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Then... What? We might want to tackle this in the morning. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, <laughs> I was just gonna say we did. We did kind of come in hot for this one and used up a lot of stuff. So yeah, maybe we can we call off the war so that innocent lives don't have to be wasted as well. 
Yes. I got, listen. When you return, I'll have terms drawn up to hold off. Great. I also want to say, I want you to be able to save face in this situation. Um, I am excellent at lying. We can just say, you know, we're very powerful people, but illusion magic is a thing. There were people who were trying to discredit us. We don't have to say one party was wrong or right. We can say that what happened from the dwarf standpoint is correct and what happened from our standpoint is correct and we'll just ignore what you and us, what we all know happened. We'll just go forward so that it can seem like some party was trying to discredit us and drive a rift between people who should be good friends. Right? Aye. Aye. Right, let's go kill some devils in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll head back to Wolfreen. Good talk. Magrin, love your work, as always. Hi, hey, Magrin. I, uh, I step forward, and I approach Magrin. And I just, like, take her hands. We'll be back. What? And we'll bring Thank him you. back. Thank I you. Promise. I promised him, and I promised you. I have work to do. So do we. She kind of, like, rolls her shoulder. I, does she look hurt at all? She looks sore. I am going to cast... Um, before I go, uh, I am going to cast Enhance Ability on her. Mm. Um essentially of her choosing, whether that's strength or dexterity for what she needs for her work ahead. Okay. It's mostly strength at this point. I'm going to give her I'm gonna give her strength. Thank you. You're welcome. And I touch my temple to hers. And I go. All right. um, I can get us home. If you like. At your leisure. And I take us back to Corinna Estate. Oh, wait! Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's two hours away from my place. <laughs> you said. <laughs> uh, we have two different concepts of home. Yeah. As we land, Finn like, what a penis. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so as you re uh, arrive once again at Corinne in the state, um, intent on taking another rest, uh, uh, we will take our break there. Oh, I need to go for another Tim, job. I have a question. <laughs> yes. Can Callie walk home? Yeah, absolutely. I think Callie's going to walk home. Okay. We've avoided war and we're sort of made like a tentative deal with him. And I hate him even more than I did before. <laughs> oh, he's such a <laughs> wanker. <laughs> he's such a shitbag. He's just um, like, he's one of those people where you're like, you, you, you tell him something and he agrees, but in an argumentative way. And you're just like, what? Um, we should, uh, yeah, we can all walk back to the city. I don't think yep. that he wants to sleep in her empty house. I'm not walking um, anywhere. Zim Galabim, we're in Blackwater Keep. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the same Epi's, for me. It's I'm staying in Epi's bed. <laughs> um, before we head to break, we are going to draw yeah. some amazing things we, for a raffle. This is a, this is a couple of draws. We have whoa, some whoa, stuff whoa, that whoa. we have to do. I'm whoa. first... This first one is all of the people who donated five subs or more. And this is, there's going to be a shirt. It's going to have all of the names of the people who uh, donated written on it. And then we're going to each hand sign Whoa. the shirt on the back. Yeah. So on the front will be all the people who. We're going to have a subs. huge signing party at the end of this month. And I'm and so, um, so excited. About that. It's going to be great. On the back, it's going to be all our signing. So the winner of that, I've got, I've got the hat that was used. The reason why the hat was next to me for the bit that we did uh, was to pull a, a, a name out of the hat. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I mean, it's gonna be this person. Oh, we have 69 viewers right now. Too. Oh, oh nice. nice. And the winner is so Whiskey nice. Hunter. <gasps> Whiskey Hunter. Hunter. Uh, you oh, get I the hope shirt. You're here, friend. I hope you're here. If not, we'll contact you. Uh, over Discord, because I know he's over Discord. Discord. Uh, M will remember that. I went to go write it down. I'm like, no, no, no. Sorry, M. no, no, no. I'm taking a note. I'm taking a note. I'm doing it yeah, right yeah. now. I'm doing it right Whiskey now. Whiskey Hunter <laughs> won the shirt giveaway. So the shirt. Totally giveaway. different giveaway to what I'm about to do now. Do you have a bunch of different hats of varying levels? Of... No, I am taking all of the names out of this hat and I'm doing a new draw. 
<laughs> the whiskey hunter won. So you have shirt. piles. Wait. So there's either I multiple hats specific, or multiple yeah, yeah. piles. Okay. So you empty the pile. hat. You put a okay. new pile in. Yeah. New this pile is shake it up. Pile. Also, please lift it up the hat so it's on. It's Sorry. it's in frame. There this you go. is the last pile. This is the pile, but it will be drawn from multiple times. Okay. So the first item. This is for everyone who donated. I believe. $25 or more? I, I think cannot. it was $25. $25 was getting, yeah. um, so the first item, actually, I'm going to show it. We're going to show the items. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. The notes mm. from the quiet year. Ooh. So the map, which oh, I've rolled up, time. and yeah. all of the notes, one of which we had a scarcity of bodies, which I remember the context of that, but I did look at that and I was like, that's concerning that we too don't. Few bodies, we need, we need more corpses. Few bodies. But I realized it was, it was people, bodies who could work. So the mm, winner mm, of corpses. the quiet year stuff is, or oh, this one, this one, this one that I just touched. Shadow Tiger wins <gasps> nice. the quiet year. Congratulations, right. Shadow Tiger. You get the quiet year uh, stuff. Next up on the list, this little, this little bag here, mm -hmm. which contains these dice, the dice that I used during mm. the subathon. Those will go. Bye to Amazing. one of the people who donated $25 or more of the subathon. We're going to, we're going to, is it a frame? It is. Okay. Yes. Uh, this one. Frame Molly. <laughs> Molly hey! wins. Hey! Hey! Nice. So nice. Molly. Nice. Amazing. Um, M, you've taken notes of this because I, of I have. Okay, I'm placing them down, but I, I will it's forget. Recorded too, yeah. don't worry. It's recorded. Don't worry. Oh, recorded. it is recorded. It's on the internet forever. Um, no, this is theater. <laughs> Once it happens, yeah, yeah. it's gone forever. <laughs> forever. Uh, M, if you could show the next item, Ooh. Neppy dice, a set of Neppy dice. Mm. We'll and I have going... had these Neppy dice since the very, very beginning, beginning of this campaign. Very so beginning. these are four year Neppy dice. And this person right here is Pond. <laughs> Pond Place is going to get the Nessie die. Oh, that's amazing. Sweet. I will contact that's Pond. Fantastic. And send them to him. All right. This next one is very exciting. In tandem with our own Sean Deppner, you will oh, be yeah. you will be designing a Blackwater Bar and Grill menu item for to exist forever mm. in the world of uh, of Bulfar. Uh and. That person is going to be dun, this dun, person dun, right dun, here. Dun. This could not be more perfect, but it's it's your mum, Jim. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, she she doesn't even need my help. It's <laughs> Carl Somi. Carl Somi, you get to design <laughs> a an item on the Blackwater oh, Bar yeah, menu. No, I'm not going to be able to add anything to that. Whatever yeah, she comes up with. Oh is, my that's god, that's so good. Mama now Carlson. the next one is they get to design an NPC <laughs> with Tim, and that NPC will exist in the world. But we're going to have Tim there just so it isn't like Dick's McButtface, you know, like. <laughs> We hit. have a long goblin in the campaign. Yeah, Dick's McBuck face would goes. not be far off. <laughs> true, true. If anything true. goes okay. to sigil. And anything the person goes. helping Tim make an NPC in dun, our dun, world dun, 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 dun. is ETA Games. Ooh. Congratulations, to ETA Games. You get I to think make. They're in our Discord too. Nice. All right, now we're into some of the spicy stuff. This is the, this is. Mucho Spice. Em, do you want to show the second thing that you have? Yeah, I you? do. So a long time ago, uh, we went to give away something from Legendcraft and the person oh. that we gave it to was like, oh, I'll give it to someone else who is, uh, they were like Pass a on, one time viewer of the show. They're like, oh, give it to someone who watches the show more. So I couldn't think of a better thing. Let I'm pulling out of the vault. A mm. dice tube. Dice tube. From Legendcraft. This is the Purple Heart dice tube with brass capping. Uh, it is lined inside. It is absolutely delightful. And the it winner of that dice so tube good. is. Oh, it couldn't be more perfect. It's teeny. Teeny, congratulations. Oh, you got the man, dice dude. tube. Yes. Yes. All right. We got here's all the names left. Here's all the names left. All right. Oh my God. All right. Next up. Is a modern arcana shirt of your choice that we will we anything will send off the to. any t-shirt off the website wait in a size you let us know and we yeah you let us know the size and the spell you want and we'll send it to you and it's going to be this person right 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 there yeah i found it i picked up like three and had to get rid of a couple oh oh, oh. winner of that oh is Luan MFC. Luan, oh, amazing. Nice. Luan, Luan wins the uh, uh, Monarch shirt. And finally, the last uh, raffle Luan. draw. 
<laughs> is uh is my telephone, my cell phone. <laughs> number. No. His number is it's his my number. And you get to call me up. And no, it and is a fifty dollar gift certificate to our red bubble store. Oh, yeah. oh so for fifty yeah, dollars towards swag. an item. Swag, from swag, swag. Our Twenty five dollars in, fifty dollars out. That's good business, right baby. Well, so many that I picked dun, up. Dun, 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 this person right here is Jacques David. Wins a fifty dollar Jacques David. Wins a fifty dollar. Is that spelled French or did you just pronounce it? Is his name Jacques, Jacques David or it's... did you just get? No, it's J A C underscore D U V I D E. Jacques okay, David. Jacques, Jacques David. David. So congratulations on our raffle winners. Yeah. Uh, those items will be coming to you uh, as soon as we we uh, can. And um, for those of you who um, have items uh, that are going to be delivered to them either via yes. mail or via electronically via the interwebs, uh, we are on it. Uh, we yep. are hoping to get everything out to you by the end of January. And as far as uh, stream yeah. stuff goes, that's a pretty good turnaround time uh, in internet land. So uh, yeah. we're very excited about that. Um, but thank you. Congratulations thank you to all our winners. I think it's Yay. amazing that Tim's mom is going to just sign a bar. <laughs> Mark Newman and you are so silly. Just Tim's have mom's to have very good cook. Desert rock. You just have to remember that it's it's made with the fusion of people who eat weird spider stuff. I'll talk to her, but it's, <laughs> it, it should feature either some sort of rock, pebble, dust, or sand, any type of grit. I just want uh, to hear the audio from that mm. Zoom call. That's what I want. That's yeah, me. I'll just list the yucky things that people in the scar have canonically <laughs> enjoyed thus far. <laughs> Yeah, be like, take those ingredients and make it earthy. Run with Alrighty. It. Okay, Outward. we are going to be back in a tight 10, so grab yourself you some soon. spider milk and some gravel. Bye. See you soon. Bye. See you soon. Now I'm in focus.
Hi guys, it's me, Adam, and I'm here to talk to you about the sponsor for tonight's episode, Legendcraft. Legendcraft is a Canadian woodworking company that makes D&D and tabletop gaming tables and accessories. They are a couple of passionate crafters that create items that will instantly become a highlight of any tabletop or RPG player's game night. An absolute favourite of mine is the Mountain King board gaming table. This table is bonkers cool, looking like it is straight out of a Dwarven King's Hall. It's really unlike anything I've ever seen. We feel really good about endorsing this Canadian business that brings so much passion into something we care so deeply about. So head over to their Instagram, at legendcraft.ca, to have a look at what they're making and let them know that Blackwater sent you. And if any of you fall in love with any of their amazing products, you can go to their website and use the promo code BLACKWATER for 5% off. It supports a Canadian business and also helps support our stream in this crazy D&D game we love. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of the show. Back. Are we back? We're back. Oh, We're back, baby. We're back. Are you in focus? Are you in focus now? Focus? <laughs> are you in focus? So fucking mad at my camera, but I was afraid. Are to you touch in focus? Because I was afraid that it'd fuck up everything else. So I was like, I, it's just a fuzz. It's Sean's fuzzy today. We were, uh, a a microbiologist. Well, thank thank you. you for the raid. Ooh. Oh, hey, thank you. And the lurk. Is there just one that... microbiologist? Because that's a really fun name it's to shout a, out. A underscore microbiologist. What's yeah. up, Which singular I microbiologist? So, I'm so curious. A us? microbiologist. Um, They're not in the chat. They are lurking. About... Oh, they I had to head I off don't... and tidy the house since the puppies decided to bring home, bring everything into the house and make a mess. Wow, classic. Classic. If you rewatch this, if you rewatch this. Thank you. I'm so curious what they do on their channel. I'm also curious. Hopefully it involves microbiology. That'd be fucking wild. As someone, who did, as someone who did four years of microbiology. So nice. That's so great. Uh, it looks like they play video games. Amazing. Sick. Also great. But with a very tiny controller. They teach me most. <laughs> <laughs> they only play the first world of Spore. That's the only... <laughs> That's a real That's deep the best cut. part of That's Spore. So That's the funny. best part of Spore. That's so funny. Wow. Well Evolve, done. Dude. You're like, okay, back to the start. <laughs> oh, they're back. <laughs> Microbiologist is here. They are a variety streamer. Oh, oh that's amazing. Great. Welcome. You ever play Spore, Thank though? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Spore is such <laughs> a good game. Did you check that Spore, though? Yeah, Spore is, a Spore is such a good game right up until it exclusive yeah. streamer. <laughs> I've been play, since day one, I've been playing Spore for eight years. Never fucking bothered with once you've got legs, mm. I'm out. I'm out. No bones, no problem. Back to the pool. <laughs> Guys, just if you if you also like using your bones. Uh, that's a good enough ploy to come check out uh, the Weird West saga. Segway. Which is was that happening. next week? Oh, wow. No, nope. uh, nope. that's in uh, the third Wednesday of every month. But next Wednesday, we're going to be doing the Brothers Grimm, uh, oh, which is going to be so fun, which is oh, myself DMing uh, in the DM seat mm. featuring Cody and Adam and the amazing Pond. Uh, who won playing, the Neppy Dice. Who won the Neppy Dice. Uh, playing three brothers who are... On a quest. So um, excited to play Austin Grimm again. He's such a little shit. So good. So I think so I'm gonna good. do some backsliding. Amazing. I think at the a- end of that one shot, he was he he was he'd learned and grown too much. Well, he'd matured too much, and I need to. If you lose perspective, <laughs> oh, I just popped the strap on my shirt. Okay. Um, if you lose oh, perspectives, you do hello. lose advantage on Toss. those wisdom saves that I gave you. So. Oh, I have advantage on wisdom saving throws. Yeah, because you gained the that. gift of perspective if you're not yeah. a shipbag. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> With well, our little bit of time, because we can't just go to sleep, we literally just woke up. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna start helping Clack. I'm going to invite him down into the area. Um, that no one else knows about, and oh. we're gonna start uh, sanctuming up uh, uh, a part of it. Okay. We're gonna start carving some spells on it, and we'll just have some Sounds some good. bonding time. All right. What music was this? this him? It was Blackwater Keep. Mm. Y'all are home. I am going to go take Trixie out on a date day. Okay. As I you uh, head out of the house, uh, you hear Codus yell, "Be safe." <laughs> 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 yes, Tim. Ironscape oh because God, Epic you, Games involve you like, require you to imp- put the sound I of your card it. in. I uploaded it. 
into That's for and it will now. become community content. Once this at some point I will publish all of this, all of the Blackwater stuff as Oh community my gosh. Content. Uh, so you yeah, two can use Blackwater sounds in your game. <laughs> you, can too. you two can have CODIS live in your Epic world. Games We're gonna have a other sound. A uh, few other uh, uploaded stuff. I'm gonna. I want to do some like patch, like Walla, just like around <laughs> the keep. But We're gonna need to meet <laughs> the the anti Codis, the notice, who's like, be unsafe, be, be unsafe. dangerous, be unsafe. <laughs> Let's I, get dangerous. Just, just to, for those who don't know what Walla is, uh, it's a, yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a, a, a voiceover word that is basically whenever you hear a scene where people are talking and there's people talking in the background, that is recorded separately from the <laughs> like scene. It. I should do it on stream. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, if there. you need help doing Walla, I would love to do that. That sounds <laughs> for, like for a lot of fun. For folks who don't know, Tim and uh, the, the thing that's right behind Tim is a yeah, recording booth. The recording um, booth. My dad built it. Shout out to my dad if he's in chat. I can right set now. up a camera in there and we can just jam out some Walla with the That'd audience. That'd be so fun. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> No. Uh, anyways, sidetracked. Um, Amazing. Amazing. Callie, you wanted to do something? I'm so sorry I cut you off. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, just, sh sh I'd go see Kamea and talk to her about what's gonna happen. Okay. Kind of arrive over at uh, the Gatestone Keep um, and you find uh, it hasn't been that you you literally left the the council meeting, so it was she's just kind of tucking back into bed. Yeah. Um, as uh, she kind of sees you, she's a little bit surprised. That that was quick. Is everything all right? Kind of. Uh, I'd relay what happened in the forge. And it's devils, right? Mm-hmm. Devils. All right. Um, well, I suppose you are uniquely equipped to deal with that. Yes, so. When are you leaving? In the morning. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Can I help you with? She kind of starts unbuckling your armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I take it Magrin is safe? I think so. That's good. She didn't want to leave. Shackles are broken. Start, I suppose. Yeah. I, uh, didn't, I don't know, uh, didn't ask for, didn't ask for him to clear my name. I, I think I'm just hoping that that happens. Well, I assume if he declares peace, then I think it should be all right. So? I'm sorry that uh, your proximity to me made you a target. I think it's my prox proximity to me. No, 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 I am the queen, so. <laughs> I am part of Blackwater. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree then. Sounds good. She kind of kisses you on the cheek. Now, your queen would like you to come to bed. Oh, my what? queen would like that. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of takes your hand and leads you back to bed. Thank you for everything. Always. I never doubted you. I know. Sorry mm. for trying to stay. No, you can apologize to me as your wife, but as your queen, that was very, very honorable. But as your wife, I, I would have killed you myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a testament to your character. It's hard to see queen and not think of you. Of course. And I would want whoever did it to stay. I appreciate that. I love you. I love you. Okay. It's been too long since we've shared a bed. 
and she pulls you into bed and pulls the covers up. Hell yeah. <laughs> Big old fade to black on that one. <laughs> yeah. Clarify, are we staying? Are we are we just nocturnal now? Because like it's the middle of the night, correct? So are we staying the night and then the next day, and then we're sleeping in the next morning. I would say we... you could stay up for like four hours, six hours, and then kind of sleep into the mid morning and, and still get your full rest. Oh, okay. That oh, so it's great. in the it's in the morning, Fair it's not in the it's like midday. Right yeah. now? No, it's it's the middle of the night right now. Like because you went and met the council at midnight. Yeah. And then right after we woke up from the rest. Yeah. So we've got to be ar around for like at least eight hours. It's like go to bed at 8 a.m. type yeah, shit. Yeah, We're doing yeah, shift yeah. work, team. We're doing yeah. shift work. Right. Also, okay, you, that... you, you kind of go to bed at like 6 a.m., we'll say, and you, you start your day. You won't need the, f we'll say, for, you guys just for expedience. You won't just need want to hours. like reset our, our clock. Like I know we're on a time crunch, but like we can just step and then sleep at night. Stop. Yeah, that... You're all describing my sleep schedule. <laughs> No, but I was actually going to suggest that, yeah, why don't we just, like... We hang out here for the day, we yeah, stay the night, I, I, and then we wake up in the morning. With Otherwise everything we're going, going be... on, I know, again, time crunch, but with everything going on, I could really use just, like, a day off. Oh, with your girl. Go on. The fuck are you two talking about? The fucking places are trying to go to war. The fucking Matron of Vengeance has come back to fuck up the entire planet, and you want to spend, like, fucking, like, 12 hours what? getting us back now? in sync what on a time oh, zone that we probably won't even be in because we're going to be traveling on the fucking planet in planes. Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. All right, letters. What day letters. is today? All right, I don't fucking uh, know anymore. Today is the 20... It would be very early morning on the 21st of Peldavin, 2377. No, but like day of the week. Uh, one moment, please. Also, just letters. for context, Letters is just in his loincloth as he was heading down to the dojo. Yeah. Letters, I, listen. Yes, I agree. I'm sorry. I was just trying to figure out what I'm doing either tonight or tonight Do you want me tomorrow. to send the Trixie? Say, no, F fuck just you. two words, <laughs> you up. No. From, nope. Wait, four words, from Finnan. <laughs> no, I can walk. It's the, equivalent, right, it's the equivalent of Thursday. It's but see the thing is, letters Thursday nights I have I get together with some ladies and we knit, and I haven't been in a while because. But Gristle. you're right. The day of the week is Gristle. Yeah. Well, hey, Thursday. the good news is I don't plan to be in any level of hell. Oh, so we'll be back for ideally. Time. Yeah, ideally we can be back, and then we'll be spent. We'll need to do another rest here, and you can spend that knitting with whomever you like. I just feel like lately we've been sleeping like every four hours, and I don't think it's good for our bodies. I really don't. I don't think we've been sleeping every four hours. I think we've been taking an adequate rest for the uh, equivalent uh, expenditure of energy. Can I Can I come this with you, Letters? concerned about our lifestyle is like so <laughs> far down being like hey i get stabbed by weapons that are built by bat people i should probably eat more roughage like what are you what are we doing here like we do need i i am uh, if we're going to go into the crucible um we should probably rest as soon as we are able to that seems adequate uh, because I am missing a couple of, of uh, some of my more powerful magic and would like to go in there yeah. and be able to blast some devils. Oh, with, absolutely. Uh, That's the plan. I'm just all revved up. I got a, I got a, I, me and Clack got a chisel. Do you want to spar? Do you want to no, we got a chisel. Spar? I really got to get, get on the spell. It's fine. I'll go and sleep in, thing. I'll go sleep in my room when we sleep. I just, when it's daytime, it makes it really hard for me to sleep if I'm not in magical darkness. I'll just check if Even she's in, up. I will check if no, she's No, I'm, up. fuck off. I'm going... <laughs> I leave. <laughs> Do you want me to bring Trixie over here? Maybe no! She come sleep in your room with you. I hate both no, that's of you. fucked up. You can't do that. You're her boss. That's no, fucked up. No, not her up. boss. Not what she's here. This is a terrible dynamic that we, we have. You can't separate the two. It is a problem. You. I can't you, separate the two. No. Yeah. No. Look. You're. <laughs> Look, if he wanted to date someone in the Dresda Trading Company, and I was like, "Hey, please come over," uh, <laughs> you know. How do you know it's not already happening? I've just told him he can't hurt her or I'll kill him. That's well, all. no, but you can't give her an order. You're like, you're no, mommy's favorite. I would never give her an order. Well, that's what I'm saying. If it comes from you, it's kind of a high priestess thing. No, I'm not that scary, am I? No, it's the implication. It's 
Kale, don't agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I won't send to Trixie. I just think they're very cute together, and I'm just so happy to see Finn and happy. Yeah, you just so, have to do hands off is all. That's the thing, it just has to be hands off. I'll still kill him if he hurts her though. Yeah, that's been established, that's allowed. As High Priestess, you're allowed to do that. You can Good. fuck with Finn and you're not allowed to fuck with Trixie. No, no. There you go. No. But you are if it's relating to temple things. Yeah. But Trixie's a wonderful priestess. She's if she never... is slovenly in her tasks, you can absolutely never. send her to no. get hell or something. If she's a bad I can't send partner, anybody to hell. Uh, friend not... plus with Finnan, you can't you can't talk to her They've about moved that. Past. I know very little about dating, Hey, but... what's your relationship? Have you defined it? What Finnan uh... is <laughs> About 15 minutes away from the keep at this point. You can still hear them now. <laughs> Should we send a perception? Yeah, yeah we send a perception. And ask just, him what their like, relationship <laughs> is or what? I mean, I feel like we just. That's the thing is, I feel like anytime anyone is like, I have an aside. Finnan hears it and has just had to like, that's why his memory is bad, is he's just forcibly made his memory bad. So he forgets everyone's secrets because he can't not hear everyone's secrets. He just has to forget them. <laughs> Kel's going to follow letters and clack when they leave. <laughs> just without, <laughs> just a question, just sort of like tag along. Clack, clack looks step. over his shoulder. Oh, dude, you cannot wear that into the dojo. Also, technically speaking, you're not allowed in the dojo. What do you think? Are I we think also? we do not have time for it in initiation. No, we don't. I think tradition don't. matters. Tradition and I think, Kale, matter. you've got a really good uh, Kale, potential be boy to be a gravel boy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> But I'm saying we You've can't do that You've already left. Right You're now. 15 wow. minutes away. I, Adam Lucas, <laughs> am upset about this. No one's a gravel boy yet, except for Nappy, because she helped build it. And Kokanee, I think, took the initiation, too. He absolutely did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took the initiation and the initiative. Finn and can at any time. No, there's been discussions about non-gravel boy behavior for, around <laughs> Finn. And. That yeah, that was a while ago. That was a year ago. Some real so man now. <laughs> You're a man now. You've grown up. Look, if you want to clack would absolutely don sponsor you, dude. The loincloth. <laughs> I think look, Finnan's not here, but I know he can hear me. I'm just saying, like, if he wanted to try out, I think oh, he's yeah, ready. Absolutely. I would I for agree. Sure I think he's him. done a lot of growing. Are we all down here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just standing at the top of the stairs with nothing to do. Just to Finn in like the end of um Breakfast Club, just <laughs> as he walks away. <laughs> I'm gonna go, just be careful down there. Don't die. Just call me if you need me. Um, Do you want to go get some tea? Did he freeze? Or is he just standing? He's not, he's standing quiet. No, Who are you asking? asking? <laughs> Nappy. Oh, yeah. Because you, you, you wouldn't let me come downstairs. No, you're not allowed. <laughs> oh, well, sure. Why well, don't. I mean, I was just gonna. Go I mean, I've got a... nothing else to do. Well, come for a walk with me. Come for a walk. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go just kind of meander uh, with Kale through the city. Um, if we were needed for anything. Uh, Nepi would also walk through a market. Um, the market, uh, Nepi, uh, there is, we've established this in the past, there is a vendor that sells like these like sweet buns um, that Nepi- it is, it is the middle, the of, the middle of the night. It's <laughs> the middle of the night, but she would walk wistfully past that and wish she could go get it. She's gonna Ooh. go for a walk. What do you Baby do girl. to counter the packs of roaming dogs? <laughs> Because you are walking around in full frame <laughs> in the dead of night. That is, uh, as they call it locally, I use, dog I use time. Thaumaturgy and I dog growl town, back dude. louder and establish myself as an alpha. That's what I do. Yeah, you you do notice like an increased number of wild dogs on the street. Like they're like you seem the both of you have such a presence that the dogs seem to be sort of leaving. Like, but there is like three dogs following you. <laughs> For really most of your walk. You've really got Finan, to deal with this dog problem. Finnan feeds every dog he encounters. Oh God, that's part of the issue, yeah, my guy. Yeah. Finnan is not helping the situation at all. Finnan, you also run into a number of dogs who like look like they're like tired or like hurt on the ground and you go to feed them and they immediately get up and run away. Like you, you feed them, they eat and they immediately are like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> they have learned. Begging dogs. That's so uh. funny. Yeah, oh, no, that's Kale a really and I, good idea. Kale and I walk wistfully around the city and then we go back and we city, make some tea and we sit on the rooftop patio and have tea on the roof. Campaign two character is the guy who was catching the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sandy Sandy Draconia has suggested we do a dog pack one shot. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, that's so oh, that's We're all the dogs. We're the dogs. I love dogs. 
Uh, Love it. All right. Yeah, you head down to the dojo. The uh, the sand pit is full of stones, like boulders, just like cracked boulders all over the place. It's a mess. <laughs> Gorge! Oh, man. He's Gorge, gonna what be... the... Gorge, what the fuck is what? this? What? What? What the fuck? This is a communal space. You haven't been here for a while. Yeah. And so I expect it to look like I left it. Look, Gregor and I were doing some art. Okay, I'll clean it up in the morning. <laughs> this is art. This is art. This yeah, is a sand pit. This is my art. No, no, no. This is a functional space for sparring for and wrestling and stuff. Okay, I'm sorry, Craig and I aren't as into wrestling as do you black are. <laughs> Gorge, do you want your own art space? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I love your art. Do you mean that? Yeah, I love the murals you did in the bathroom. They're I really awesome. I doing those to get your attention. I love them. I want more of them. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll clean this up right away. Thank Is you. Gorge wearing any articles of clothing that you that have belonged to Lettuce? No, he has woken up from sleep. He was woken up by that, so he has stepped out. He is fully naked. <laughs> yeah, 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 that makes sense. Um, and he's cleaning up the boulders. He's starting Thank to roll you. those boulders. Yeah. We we turn a couple sconces, uh, go through some areas, yeah, and go to the space that even gra gravel boys are not allowed. <laughs> uh, all right, and you uh, you work for a bit. Um, so you all spend your time uh, before deciding to take a long rest uh, through the day uh, and into the early, kind of early afternoon uh, when you all wake up rested and refreshed, uh, meeting back at Blackwater Keep. Ready to go. So I hand the... Neppy yeah. the nail. We should prep again. We don't know what we're going into at this point. Yep. I want to just toss this out as a possibility. The um, spell I did when we were facing Moradin, mm. um, the Wall of Force, I can create that in a dome around us. Now, nothing can pass through it, nothing, no magic, but it will allow us to arrive and I can cast it immediately and it allows us to get the lay of the land before, before we you know, expand everything. Yeah, exactly. So I can How long land. Does that last? The wall, I mean, I, the wall of force lasts. Uh, and then we can flip off the devils. Up, really to, get in up to 10 minutes. So I think that's a good idea. Yeah, we I can really really see what's idea. in there. Have a look around. Um, Kale, still be ready. Val valuable addition to Blackwater, and I appreciate you. Well, I appreciate you, Finn. I'm, I'm sorry. We we um. Sometimes I I get carried away, and I know that uh, you like to do things by the book. Um. So I know that it's difficult for you when I jump off bridges, and that is hard to watch yeah um but i haven't broken up with trixie so technically i am just as bad as you in that regard so there's that well corrupting you slowly yeah exactly maybe maybe it'll we'll meet halfway in the middle and you'll stop jumping off bridges or just learn how to like no like, it's cool we all fly like i jump off bridges fit in you jump off bridges we all jump off bridges we all fly Kale, you have the capacity to make yourself fly magically correct? i just fall that's all no I, I don't know that one Cool, cool, cool. Oh, so you fly cool. in a spiritual sense. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used Maybe. to be, I used to be able to. Tap something about it. something about wings, but I don't quite remember. It was a long, long time ago. Um, right. Just before we go in, then. Obviously, we want to clear this place up because more tonight's going to hell. Not fair for anybody, but. No. If we can ply whoever's down there for information, obviously our we're relationship going, with Morden. But we're yeah. not going to hell. No. We're, we're going, going to a to bad Morden's place inhabited crucible. by demons. The yeah. crucible, yes. But importantly, Morden's probably not been completely honest with us. If we can play kind of nice and as long as we have a, a wall of force and talk to these individuals a bit, you know, let's see what we can get out of them before we clear them out of there. Don't we? We can't give them anything, like information-wise. We just don't, need to see what we can get. And also, yeah. do not agree to anything with no. devils. That's a pact. 
Yeah. No deals. No handshakes. No spitting. All right. It's a deal. Um, uh, Tim, one more time, uh, Mm -hmm. because Nepi would remember, but Emma does not. The name of the devil's Glarian? Garian. Garian. Gary. Gary. (laughs) So. Oh, Gary. Garian might be there, might not be there. There leader of some description uh, from devil general man what do i know about kanya the seventh layer of hell make a religion check or a history uh either a history or a religion check my religion they're actually they're both they're both the same perfect a religious history check 25. Okay. Um, you know that uh, it is a layer of hell that is somewhat contested. Um, it is often, uh, from the reading that you have, you don't know the current state, um, but from in the past, it's sort of been fought over by two devils, um, Garion and uh, Lobistus, I think is the, the This other is Stigio. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, Stygia is the layer that is all ice. That's the sixth layer. Um, Kanya uh, is also all ice. Right. Uh, this is, yeah. Um, it's, uh, you would know that Garion is more closely associated with Stygia. Okay. Um, and Levistus and he go back and forth, um, vying for control. And there's been times when Garion has, has controlled that level, that layer of hell. You don't know if what, mm. um, who rules over it now. You're not really sure of the current hierarchy. Um, so you know that at at points he has been an archdevil and he has also fallen out of favor. So you're not sure. So we're not sure quite what we're dealing with. I would relay all of that, that we are likely facing someone very powerful. Uh, it's level two. Why would they make two layers of hell all about ice? Just like, weird, you know thermodynamics things. something about health i feel like there's a joke in there about health uh hell insulated. freezing over i don't know there's a joke in there mm-hmm. Nepi, mm-hmm. you want to take the reins <laughs> yes uh, i'm gonna throw um, my weapons and then bye Trixie. we need now um and uh i'm gonna cast death ward <laughs> on clack and Thank myself you. and myself and i will do mind blank on uh lennon i mean callie okay. so, i'm going to oh. hold that wall of force spell the second that we arrive tim importantly there is a part of my sword that i adam know about would finnan know about that element just being bonded to it or is that kind of like which element is the part that makes me easy to mind control oh uh you uh you would have some sense cool maybe not like total understanding of that but you would know that the nature of the artifacts that you fused into that could make you more susceptible to certain things. Yeah. I will relay that to the team. <clears throat> All right. Um, You're pliable mentally? Uh, no, it's the, the magic that I used, the, the nature of the sword, because it's kind of halfway between, kind of emanates, it, it lowers the walls a little bit. Yeah. All right. Um, do you know how to fix that? Nope. That's it's just a part of the sword. All right. Yeah. But just so we know, that is a thing that could happen. Just. All right. Don't feel bad if you have to kill me. Is all I'm saying. I'm not going to kill you. Um, my sense is they might try and dominate some of us, but I don't know. That is why I'm telling. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're going into a place where that kind of magic will be bandied about. So, just fair warning on that. All right, let's do it. All right. Um, just, just as a quick point, people can still cast magic through the um, the wall of force. They just can't. It, it's, no, uh, nothing can a, pass through. Yeah, so it's, nothing it's can kind physically of, pass through. It is immune to all damage. It, that's a gray area of the rules. I've been looking into that. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think wizards, Mike Morales ruled that spells can't go okay. through it. I was, taking it um, I was taking it more sort of like fireballs couldn't come through, but like a yeah. charm isn't. I haven't, but, yeah, but, I, I haven't dived deep enough into it and, and 
parse it out. So we'll say for now, we'll say that spells can't Nothing. pass either okay. way. And can, um, but that may change in the to, future. Can, pe- can people teleport in and out? Because it does pass into the ethereal plane, and I can't remember what it the, extends uh, into the ethereal plane. Yeah. The wall of force. So, so like nothing can physically no, pass through the no wall. No teleportation. Cool. No. That's good to know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's join hands. Please stay connected to me uh, and try and stay within 30 feet of me at all times, please. Uh, and we plane shift using the iron nail for the crucible. And we go. All right. Uh, can one of you roll me a D100? Absolutely. What could go wrong? Orange is the first number. Oh, 44. Fun. Great. Uh, all right, so you teleport into the crucible, and you are immediately hit with this cold, ice cold wave that comes across all of you. You feel your feet kind of hit the ground and kind of crack and break the ice that is beneath you. You can see the ground is littered with fragments of armor and broken weapons. You can see all around you bones hanging from the walls. In the center of this room, a fairly large, a similar layout to the Hearth of Ages, but larger, built for, uh, looks like it's built for a larger humanoid. There is in the center, a massive hearth that you can see is kind of open on both sides, but has been f- completely frozen over within the inside um, of the column. And you can see on the right-hand side where there is a large, large anvil. Uh, And you can kind of barely make out some of the tips, like it's also covered in runes, but there is ice that has fully encased it. Do we see any things? I would throw the the wall of force up in a a dome around us. Make a perception check for me, if you will. May I also make a perception check? Yeah, of course. So that was that was that for me or for twenty six? Uh, for the who? Was it for me casting the spell or for no? Nappy? You you cast it, goes up. Okay, cool. Yep, twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty six for me. Twenty six. Okay. As you look around and you hear your feet kind of cracking on the ice beneath you, you notice something about the walls that you can see. You can see there is kind of a thin layers kind of thin cracks all throughout this space, filled with diamond-like ice all throughout. It's as if the whole thing is slowly being kind of cracked and pulled apart. Kale, you're all about flame and fire. Do you think maybe we can melt that frozen hearth? I could try, but I would have to drop this. That makes sense. Hello! Uh, hello, kind of like, hello, hello. Kind of echoes through. I do want, should I use my ability to see things as they are now? Uh, give it a second. Give it a second. We've got 10 minutes. You watch as from behind the center column, a large, almost insect like devil creature kind of steps out to the side and you see another one kind of steps out on the other side these cracking sounds that's so good so they kind of look you see one turn to the other and you watch that one scuttle away true scene hey there uh, we're from the Prime Material Plane. Are we in the Crucible? Or did we fuck up? Watch that one kind of cock its head. Doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. Does anyone speak devil? Infernal. Hello? I've cast true seeing as well, by the way, Tim. Okay. Yeah, you just maybe. hear this, like, kind of, like... This like the the demonic language coming. When Neppy speaks it, it it doesn't sound harsh. It sounds quite musical when she says it. Um, but I would start speaking in. Hello. What are you doing here? 
What are you doing here? This is our place. You watch as he casts up his hand as a kind of a like a crack of that same kind of like violent ice kind of appears and almost splits apart as another ice devil kind of steps out. We are looking for the crucible. Is this it? Dare step foot in Garion's crucible. Some curious wanderers. You should leave. I don't think I will, no. And you watch as uh, he kind of calls over his shoulder. I, I would whisper in common, they wonder what we're doing here. They have to call it Gary and his And you hear a That's horn a blast, kind of a high-pitched ah. horn blast from the back of the room. How many fucking demons do you think are in here? Devils, fuck it. Like, it's a big room, but... I look at Callie. I think there's going to be more soon. Yeah. Is there a... Her eyes are glowing white. And her hair would be out of the braids. They would have, like, burst out, and it would be like... I feel like there'd be, like, electricity going through her hair. And it's just, like, waving. Her eyes are just, like, bright white. Surrounded, aren't we? At the moment, there's just the two that you can see and the one I'd that's be, run to the back. I'd be asking Callie for her. Um, yeah, can I sense? Uh, yes, at the moment, you sense uh, four ice devils. There's, there's one that you haven't seen yet. There's four here. We yeah. want to get this party started. Ask them about Morden. Ask, ask them how they got this place. As, I'm, as a curious wanderer, uh, how did you come by this place? This is quite impressive. One kind of scuttles forward. He's like so confused <laughs> by the like gall of these questions. <laughs> like, what do you mean? This has always belonged to Garion. To my knowledge, it hasn't. This is Moradin's crucible, or at least it was. No. Before it was Garion. Garion killed Moradin took it for himself. Everyone knows that. Unfortunately for you, I, like, perhaps- taps on the force wall. <laughs> I would, I'd tap right back. Unfortunately for you, Moradin is, is fine. He's alive. Ask. Is, is, I feel like similar to other languages, all we can understand is something, 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 Gary, and something, 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 yeah. Martin, yeah. something, something, something. Um, we're just like, oh, what I, is this? I would I would back them and just very, like, vague, like, give the, the broad strokes of what's happening. Ask how many, how many fucking demons, devils, fuck, we, how we're dealing with. How many are there of you down here? Oh, sorry, when I speak in abrupt, how many are there of you down here? <laughs> we are many. Is Garion here? Answer. We'd love to speak to Garion. I'd love to speak to him. You do not request an audience. Um, I believe I just did. Callie's gonna walk up to. Uh, I'm blanking on literally every. The force wall. The edge everyone's, of the force wall. No, everyone in our party's name. Nebby, uh, letters. Kale. Clack. <laughs> Finna. Kale. Codus. Um, no, Kale. <laughs> ne uh, not Neppy. Callie is going to walk up to Kale. Like hair going. She's has her sword by her side. I'm going to look back at the group. Like my hair's. Are we. No, that was an accident. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Oh, we're in a quaint little demon village. <laughs> it's a little demon village. And I, Callie's buy, about to fuck it up. <laughs> buy your um, skulls. Buy your human skulls here. <laughs> she's going to look back to the group. Are we? I mean, the only one who knows what's going on is Nappy. Nappy, oh, we popping Nappy's off? Nappy's relaying this to let, like, oh. to let See us. the other, uh, two more ice, like those two ice devils kind of come around closer to the other one. You're about... You're about 60 feet away from the kind of center column. 
Kelly's oh. gonna be right at the edge, right beside uh, Kale. Just for the record, you know we have mind powers up. If we were preparing for this for a whole fucking day, I took the time to cast that before mm-hmm. we left. Oh, we have mind powers up. We have the we have. Nepi's just like do, she's doing that translator thing where you're like <laughs> dual translating mm-hmm. while you're speaking mm-hmm. in That's her great. head. Um, I I will uh, use the stone again to do the armor of Agathas again. That would have been in there. But um, I think we do it. I think that center column might be Garion. If they're coming out of the ice. Uh, and I would look back to the... Bo- well, I, I did just request uh, an audience with Garion, so... If he's around. <laughs> you will die here. And they all head back behind the column. They're leaving. Should we kill them before they leave? I want Probably. the wall dropped. Cool. Probably. Let's pause their, their, their dash. They, they've as gone out so, of sight. Uh, as, can I? <laughs> as soon as the wall drops, Callie's going to stride out like a foot out. And in Celestial, she's going to, like, not yell, but, f- like, project. Project her voice. My name is Calliope Sky Sk- Singer. You will die here, and she's gonna stride out. Hell yeah! And that's in where front we're of the group tonight. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. I love Art. this. Vibe, like a good though, spot because I don't want to jump into yeah. a, a combat. Oh. Could take. I would like, like to say just. So. I would like to say for the record that when Kale drops the wall of force, he would immediately cast Investiture of Flame. Well, we're going to roll initiative. Once you drop it, it's like that's initiative. Oh, we roll from when I drop it. Yeah. Okay. Well, because yeah. uh, Wall of Force is Wall of Force a concentration spell? Yeah. You could drop, you could drop Wall of it Force by casting by something. Casting, by yeah. casting but something. Yeah. It's, I'll, let, I'll let Tim uh, run it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's more fun. I love new Blackwater energy. Show up with our little dome. <laughs> <laughs> See the lay of the land. Hi, we're being What's diplomatic. Will you let us? That's a, honest to God, like teleporting. We tried so super hard scary. to be diplomatic. We've tried yeah. so hard. And we to did it. it, team. We did it. We, we came in. Diplomacy. We said, "This is what we want." To the guy who fucked us over two times, <laughs> and we said, third time is not the charm. You're not gonna. Char- yes, it is. We are gonna charm you. <laughs> we are gonna sir. charm you. <laughs> we're gonna argue the whole time. About the same thing. Same thing. But you will eventually. Get more he's going to so feel much. bad. He feels bad. He's a bad, I think he is. little man. I think he's just like a butthole who just like yeah, he's doesn't. He's just using us. No, he's, I think he feels he's bad. So... He feels bad. I don't think no. he does. He I don't think he has bad. any remorse. I don't think he has think any he remorse. I didn't get oh, remorse. Oh, no, I think he. Him. I think he has remorse about his like, people. His I people. Yeah. I don't think he gives a shit about anybody else. I think he feels bad about his people. Let's play on that. What a weenus. Um, wow. What a show. Uh, we are. I don't want to fight these things. I don't. I do. We're, they we're seem gonna... so I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> remember you said that so a bad. week from now when things get real yucky. Things I can tell. Get rowdy. Um, we <laughs> you can't are... have centipede creatures and be like, oh, this is going to be chill. I mean, <laughs> this is going to be fun legs. for everybody. If they're, if they're, oh, I do big damage, don't I? Yeah, I do big damage. I big get my damage. extra damage, and if I, my wings are out, I get extra big damage, baby. <laughs> and when I have Investiture of Flame up, uh, I'm sure fire does lots more damage, and I'm also resistant to cold. So Ooh, fun really story. Nice. I figured we were going to hell, so I was like, I'm not bringing fire stuff. Demons love that shit. Fucking I these are frosty, we were... frosty demons. I forgot that you um, have frosty so demons. So we are back on Monday with. The No Excuses Painting Show, where Adam and I actually sit down and paint our minis and hang so out. The many. vibes, the vibe. I know there's so many. I will be, we will be first showing our mini collections to. Allow I can't it. physically do that on screen. I know, but you can give us, you can give the, <laughs> give the folks at home a taste of all the things that you should have painted already. But now that we needed a show so that we could actually do it. Um, yep. And uh, I'm going to, once I'm, I'm going to uh, paint that boat. Yanis, I'm painting your boat on stream. It's going to be so good. Um, And then on Wednesday, Mm. oh my goodness, gosh, uh, we are back with the first episode, second of the Brothers Grimm, uh, featuring Adam and Cody and the wonderful, Mm. amazing, lovely, fantastic Pond and myself in the DM seat. Um, 
we're really excited uh, about that. There's lots of amazing stuff coming your way. And then of course, back next Saturday for this little, little sweet show. Thank you to all of you hanging out with us. Oh my gosh. All 62 of you hanging oh, out there. Thank you. Thanks so Welcome. much. Thank you. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the unfinished ones up on my shelves. Behind for shame. Me. That's what it's going to be. Shame. To shame. shame. For shame. You don't have enough room for that. <laughs> no, I don't. They're for not going to fit up there. Shame. Shame. That'll be a more thing of what I shelves. need to do. And every time more I finish one, shelves. it goes. We have like more shelves. And it comes we, back. We can put those up too. Yeah, we, can, we can add another shelf. We have another shelf we haven't put up. <laughs> I've been putting up a lot of shelves over this as, break. As I finish minis, they rotate out to be displayed and new ones get put up on the no, shelf. No, no, we no, love no, that. No, no. Um, all right. Well, you know, when you're really trying to oh. just just do something diplomatically, make sure you take your wall of force with you so that you can be safe. We love you all. Can we hear the, the Tim science played a bunch. Yeah, Tim yeah, played a bunch. Of- no, no. no. <laughs>